Hey, we got we got audio. Hey, we got audio. Hey, we got audio. I didn't mess it up. Hey, uh, let me shift over so I'm on the screen. So, hi everybody. Uh, this is Brouhaha on a very special night because we couldn't do uh, we couldn't do Friday. So we're we're doing it. Yeah, just being kind of crazy. Filling in for Holy Ones this week because two members of the party are getting married. Kids. Yep. So and. I was going to say engage, but that, no, that, they're already they're past that. that they're past that, that point. Already. Uh, so, uh, congratulations to both Brecky and Kaluminati. Uh, the next three weeks are going to be weird because of that. Uh, but we decided to do this. We're going to do it. Uh, so, before I get into what the subject of this one is, uh, our partner or our charity that we're set up for for the next several uh months to the end of June is One Tree Planted. Uh, for all the money that you donate, they plant a tree, make the world slightly better for everybody else, and as a woodworker, eventually gives me more material down the road to work with. You know, self-sustaining. He just wants to cut down trees. That's all he wants to do. <laughs> do I need to what summon... What a murderer. Do I need to summon an old, Awful old Tenacious D song? He just, just, he just trying to make lumber prices go down by increasing the supply. <laughs> Alternatively, I mean, Odin defeated uh, all the Frost Giants. I just want to defeat all the Ents. So please go donate to One Tree Planet so that we can actually have more trees. One of these trees is moving. We're going to have it down. We're going to have it down. All down until we find it. Everyone's going to go you down. Know, you know how you figure out which one's in it? Fireball. <laughs> well, then you just have like a like a California situation. And uh, the redwoods all go away. California is now and forever will be full of wizards looking for hints. There's no, there's not actually fires that happen naturally. It's just, it's a bunch of wizards like these ints are gonna be somewhere. I mean, forget, forget the, uh, forget the faulty energy comp, our energy company. Oh no, that's not yeah, real. That's, that's, that's not, not real. real. It's just that's wizards just going around. There's no, uh, there's no Santana winds that are whipping the fires. Absolutely not. There's a bunch of wizards trying to find the ints. And you see, they're so it's old canon. now. They're just it's so, canon. so delirious and just. Just everything just sundowning so bad after a you know a few hundred years that they're just shooting all the trees. Anyway, uh, for this brouhaha, we will be uh, doing two very simple things. Uh, we will be drinking a beer that we like, and we'll explain why we like it. Uh, oddly enough, nobody got the same beer, yes. which is which is slightly impressive. I was actually worried about that one. Yeah, because we did not coordinate this. No, no. I, I will no. say this: I looked very hard for the beer that I wanted, mm -hmm. but it's out of season. Well, the, the beer, hard. the beer I would have gotten, they don't have anymore. I was, like at least not here in uh, our town. I almost got if, one. If anybody bumps their foot, it causes the camera to wiggle. Oh, that's right. me then. It's yeah. it's a doo doo. Uh oh, am I? Uh, no, no. Dewey is slowly causing the camera to turn. Uh oh. Away from everybody by uh -oh. where, where is Dewey? Right there on the camera. Dewey. Dewey. Stop moving okay. your he's using his butt to tilt it back this way so we get Chris back use in there. The, and, and, the, yeah, yeah okay. A little bit a little bit more. There you go. A little bit more. Yeah. Use the, yeah. Use All right, the now go now you. go clip that. Now go clip that because Dewey's there butt. Dewey's butt messed up our okay. camera. So we're gonna be drinking beers like I couldn't find the one that I wanted because session is not yeah. in season room, uh Ferris Brewing. Oh. So uh, we'll do that, and my lovely wife has made pimento cheese. We have bought, store-bought pimento cheese, and we got from a restaurant pimento cheese. And we're going to figure out if we know which one is... If you can really uh, tell the difference. If you can really tell the difference. Or turning and, into the Try Guys. And, and like, like and that's fine. <laughs> but, like, pimento, well, cheese, this, pimento cheese has, like, three main ingredients of, like, mayo, cheese, and pimentos. And, like, if... Well, are all they ever really different? The, the quality yeah, of those the, ingredients do matter. Well, it does matter, but it also the cheeses, and also I'm I'm a big firm believer that you you add paprika or you put jalapenos in it. Yeah, yeah. So That's, then it then it tastes a little bit better. But I mean, eventually we'll we'll start just I mentioned this because like we were also looked at chicken salad and we looking at like not so much doing food challenges. Food challenges are separate. We do have to eventually break down and do. Uh, like drumsticks or thighs from chicken yeah. restaurants because we we've had the chicken tendies. Yeah. We gotta go actually get real fried chicken. 
Let's go get a, a two-piece dark meat from each ch- chicken place and figure out who's got the best. Well, we, we're gonna have to like figure it out because there's some really good places that just do straight up fried chicken. Yeah, that's true. Mm. So like there, one of them that I'd go to is in a, in a gas station. Yeah, the, yeah. the parameters. Our have... gas stations are fire around here. Though. Yeah, <laughs> to be fair, but you can't. People, people who are talk, who are gonna see this and think, oh yeah, Wawa is a great. It's no, no. No, our gas stations are manned by little old ladies who've been cooking their entire lives. It's not the same. There, there's actually places around here where, like, if you're getting, like, crawfish, like, it, it is, like, some backwater gas station. Oh, yeah. Where, where it's, like... Okay, let's be fair. For certain traditional southern foods, the sketchier the location, the better the food's going to be. <laughs> and if you, if you feel like you're going to get Absolutely. stabbed walking through there too long... That's yeah, probably some fire ass food. If, if the food ain't gonna be good. <laughs> if the chef slash owner had a lot of money before they started the restaurant, it's probably not that great. But it, like if they just if they just started like I feel like I'm gonna start a restaurant and I have lots of money to do it. But if they came up from nothing and they're and like everything's ratty but they're still doing well, that food's good. Yeah. Guaranteed. Yeah. I think that's a general rule though. Yeah. 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 So that's that's down the line. But I figured one of the things we can do whenever we're drinking beer and hanging out, is we try a traditional, like, southern finger food. Now, I mean, there's certain things some of us don't like. There's some, like, if we ever switch to collard greens, they better be fire because I don't like those things. Because they better be good and make me change my opinion about that'd collard be, greens. That'd be a weird thing to, like, pump out in a... In a let me hope. Drink, drink, drink this beer and let me just get a big old <laughs> spoonful of greens. Yeah. And uh, we'd have to we'd have to admit none of us made it. Anyway, so uh, what we're gonna what we're gonna do is we're gonna roll the d twenty. Whoever rolls the highest, we drink your beer first, and then my lovely wife, who is waiting patiently, will bring in the plates. Yeah. Ah. Uh, nope. My luck is great. Twelve. Seven. That's a six. All right, uh, Kyle, would you go get the uh, the commotion? The commotion. So no local, local local local. Local. You know, we'll leave these out because yeah, we're gonna do it again. Then three of y'all got to do roll these again. Yeah, that, this one so, doesn't like me. Yeah, no. Do you need to switch your dice? No, I'm good. <laughs> I mean, it, we're gonna get to your beer eventually, no matter yeah, what. Yeah. <laughs> Who do you have? Uh, Vax. Vax. Because at first I thought it was like Molly Mock because it was like a dagger with the blood drop, but... No, I got him the Vox Machina ones. Like, no, I know, he doesn't like Mighty Nine. Oh no, I like him. He hates them. I, I need I, to... I, I need, need, I need, I need, I need, I need to watch... I thought about down the Critter community on the stream. Chuck no, the don't do that. I, I, didn't, I didn't know that each character had their own symbol. Like a, a D20, uh, it's it's changed a couple times because oh, there's yeah. there was they originally released the D20 set several years ago and now they have like full on dice mm-hmm. sets not well, just the that. D20s. I mean they they've stepped up on a lot of stuff. Originally they were uh, with Steam Forge for their miniatures and then they went to nozzles. Okay. And this is a good one. All right, now the first thing I'm going to tell y'all to do is I got this at, uh, just go ahead and stick it back in the fridge because those are going to be drunk while I'm one. Um, go ahead and wipe the top off. I got these at Smarker's Paradise over uh, next to 165. <laughs> okay. Back. Hey, Kyle, or yeah. him, wet rag. <laughs> yeah, I see some. Uh... That They have a habit of letting beers explode in the fridges. Or they might get busted in the truck, and then they don't wipe them off. Oh, it, it's the, the Smokers Paradise right over here by us is like the really good one. Yeah, and the Smokers Paradise by One Sixty Five, not owned by the same company. I, it's I like would, it's a. You the, would think there would be some kind of like it is like a, the it's name. A, no, it's like a the Smokers Paradise and Smokers oh, Paradise yeah, versus yeah, like it, Chili Verde that, and El Chili or Azteca and El Azteca. El Azteca. I made that. Wait, those, those are different too. Yeah. Yeah, I made that mistake. I, I thought I was going to the desired one, and it turns out I ordered a 165, and I was like, ah, damn. So, uh, what this is, is this is Commotion APA coming out of Great Raft Brewing in Shreveport. I really like it because it's an American Pale Ale, 
which means it is hoppier, it is heavier uh, than a regular beer, but it's not like eating a bag of grass like a lot of IPAs. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's uh, five percent or five point five percent alcohol, twelve uh, percent can. A boldly or bold, generously hopped, balanced drink, real beer. And I'm, I'm not gonna lie, unless I can find Old Rasputin or Red Seal or yeah. Brother Thelionitis, Scrimshaw, Scrimshaw, anything from North Coast, mm. uh, or there's uh, Bastard, uh, Old Bastard by uh, Stone Brewery. Uh, oh, oh, okay. I'd like to point out this is only 5.5% uh, alcohol per volume. Yeah, I, I mentioned that. But my, my spooge. Oh, spooge. Everyone is I, I mean, I've had this beer many times. Mm -hmm. uh, I really enjoy Great Raft, and I really enjoy this beer. Yeah. Like, it is, like, if you're the type of person that likes kind of like the idea of, like, an IPA, but don't want to get an IPA, I mean, this is a good... It's beer. milder. Yeah. yeah. This is the... And I've said this about multiple beers we've had, and I don't think we've drank this one on stream before, but I mean, that wasn't the point to try new ones tonight. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what I really like about this one is, and like I've said about several others, this is a lawn mowing beer. Yeah. This is a bit outside, and I want water plus one that actually has a flavor that's enjoyable. It, it, is, it is lighter, but, and I, I feel like I... I search for things like this a lot to where I want something lighter. I don't want, don't want, yeah. you don't want your dark, punch you in the stomach, like sandwich type of beers. But you want to have some kind of flavor. Yeah. And so, like, you, I do go searching for this one. This one I've, I've always really enjoyed. And, and Great Raft out of Shreveport, they're really good. Like, yeah. I've, I've thoroughly enjoyed a lot of things of theirs. I almost brought uh, Reasonably Corrupt tonight because it's one That's of my That's another good one, yeah. It's one of my favorites, but uh, I opted for something a little lighter. Lighter on the, on the, uh, we'll hail versus it. darkness. But we'll get to it. We'll get to it. Yeah. But no, uh, this is, so. now I will say this one had to grow on me at first. Like, Southern Draw is my favorite one from mm -hmm. them, but this one has more of a bite. They're both crisp, because one's a Pilsner and then this is an APA. Yeah. Uh, they're both crisp, but this one, there's just a little bit more of a punch when you drink it. Yeah. And I kind of like that because it's, it's like when you get the, even though I can't freaking find it down here anywhere because I'm obviously going to the wrong gas station, but the mm. bowl ginger ale, that's oh, like, yeah. that's double the ginger. Yeah, you don't, you don't find that north of I-20. Not sure why. But yeah, something like this is like, it's a good marriage between something that's drinkable and something that has like a bit of a punch to it that's different. So why'd you pick this? Why'd I pick this? Because... One, I didn't know how we were going to break the cans up, and I did have to either mow today or tomorrow. And so uh, one of these was going to be in my hand while I was mowing. Uh, so that, that's one part of it, too, because I, genu I genuinely like this. And I'll be honest, like, I, when we were going to do this on Friday, I had two different, completely different beers. Again, both from Great Raft. Yeah. Yeah, uh, but they did not survive. Uh, they, did, the they did not survive Tears of Kairos when we found out we weren't going to be doing shit Friday. Uh, so uh, I got this because again, it's good. Mm -hmm. It's an everyday good. Yeah, mm. it's especially with summer coming around. I don't know. It, it's almost too much. Like if I want a lot more beer, I just want something that I. Can you want more that. of a Pilsner, sort of, like, something light? Yeah, I, I want, like, a, a cheap beer. Not that this... I don't think this is I, too I, expensive, I understand what you're saying, because, like, you're, you want... You want something that's just immediately refreshing. Yes. Mm -hmm. This... I can under... I, I can see this being refreshing, but there's, there's a lot there, and it's almost too much. Okay. Mm -hmm. Fair. No, I just... If, Honestly, if I was going to get the beer I would drink while mowing the lawn, there'd be Coors out in front of us right now, because... Yeah. Well, Coors Banquet, like... I mean, if you're going to get a cheap beer, that's a pretty solid... Like... I, I, I looked for the, uh, the the gay Budweiser, but I didn't see any rainbow cans, so I didn't bring it. Oh. I was going to go with just the rainbow cans. I was going to be the one. Only one person got those, and it broke so many little snowflakes. Anyways, um, beers, as, uh, beers aside, so 
Mm -hmm. Did you already cover why you got promotion? Yeah, it's uh, okay. I'll, let me make it even more clear. I wanted it, so I bought it with my own adult money. Mm. Ah, you have adult money, and no one's gonna stop me. Well, considering it is great rat, I figure you know. I mean, it's local. It is local. I, I buy. Have you been to the uh, to the brewery? I have not. Uh, the only brewery. That's I've on been the to do list. The only brewery I've personally gone to is I've been to the Abita Brewery down okay. in uh, Abita Springs. Yeah. And uh, we'll have to do that, but if we go there, we will also have to go to the Abita Mystery House. Well, then. That is just weird as fuck. Okay. So well, that's, that's something different. Speaking of, do we want to let the fine folks know at home that uh, we've got something in the works as far as breweries go? Oh, you can go ahead. So, we are actually looking at changing up the brew hall a little bit and venturing out to other things. And one of the things that we are currently working on is touring breweries, trying their product here, uh, talking to, uh, well, not so much staff, but, yeah. you know, the people that actually came up. We're looking at small local breweries so we can uh, talk to, you know, the people on the ground. Cool. Um, we just had a really good meanery reopen its doors since yeah. their facility burned down, and I am working on getting us a uh, tour interview. Right on. Oh, so we'll, be, we'll be doing a meadery. I'm not going to say who just yet, but some of you might know. We will, uh, only one that, there's only one that burned down. That's what yeah, we will, we will need to also, <laughs> at that point, have one of our meads that are sitting in their bottle so we can share with them as well. Okay. Yeah. I was about to say, we're going to do a taste test and see who's better? Cause that's no, good. No. <laughs> no, I feel I like think, they're going to beat us. I think they would. <laughs> I always complain that their uh, their meads have an evaporation problem. As in, I open the bottle, and the next thing I know, the bottle's empty. It goes away. It's Odin's always love. It's weird. It's Odin's love. That's a good one. It's such a good one. Yeah. Um, anyway, I, I have toured uh, Great Raft Brewery a couple times. Yeah. And it's it's really cool. Like they, it's it's entry port, a little bit off the beaten path, but where you can't just shove a brewery in the middle of downtown. Yeah. It's it's you can if you try hard enough. It, it's it's hard. It's hard to do. Anyway, um, tap room's really cool, and I think this was like my 30th birthday or something like that. Me and a few friends just drove over there, like, toured the, br toured the brewery, had a few beers. They, on the tour, they'll, they show you, like, this is where we store things, then we brew it. They're brewing this right now, and they talk about how the, the whole process for the particular beer they're going, they're brewing at that moment. So it's really, really cool. It's one of those, like... You get to you get to learn the whole process. It was, it was uh, we had a there was one guy on the tour who was a baker, and it was like he was just fascinated. It was like because the things that they do were so similar. He's like, yeah. it's like, oh yeah, I, his, his was like I bake every single day. I'm making bread and croissants every morning and like so, yes, so, it, so, it, so, it, so. It, it's knowing like the right proportions. It's knowing how to handle <laughs> yeast. It's just liquid well, bread. I mean, liquid it, it bread. literally yeah. is making liquid bread. <laughs> And you can add it to flour to make liquid, non-liquid bread. Yeah, beer bread is really good. Beer bread is really good. <laughs> like, especially if you get it, like, I think we've done it with Guinness, and did you ever do one with Old Rasputin? No, because I'm not I'm not putting Old Rasputin into bread. I drink that. <laughs> I drink that. That doesn't would get be made a, into beer bread. It would be a legitimate sacrifice to get a beer that isn't even available in this state. What? And make make bread out of it. Oh, Although, I'm thinking we would have to be very careful with that with that bread. We would have to plan it out. What was we we had a, a very sweet Russian uh, not too long ago. It was dark bottle, blue label. Uh, the one that got the one that was sitting in the fridge and we drank the other night, but it ended up being soy sauce. Yes. The sec the, the second bottle of the uh, the skull or skull, yeah yeah the one we opened it. It apparently, the seal had busted at some point. It got bad. It, it was literally like drinking a glass full of soy sauce. <sighs> so it vinegared? Yeah. It's really so, gross. So, on a side note, if it's not gone bad, that would make some ridiculous beer mm -hmm. bread. Yeah. Probably. I, Speaking I, of which, with bread, yeah, we have things that are on bread to eat. Okay. Yeah, you want to wanna get, get them in here? Yep. Yeah. Emmy. You ready? Yes, ma'am. Yes. But uh, I, I came very close to buying um, a beer that I've had a couple times. Only had a couple times. Hard to find. But I saw it the other day. And I was like, oh, we're going to get this for the for uh, Ruha. But it was supposed to be something we, in my head, it was something that we, we ate sim or drank semi-regularly. Yeah. 
something that we actually... Okay, and these are in no particular order. I know which ones are which, but... One is... My homemade pimento cheese, one is from Walmart, and one is from Chicken Salad Chick. Not sponsored. <laughs> Hashtag please sponsors Chicken Salad Chick. Okay, I'll do the D&D &D podcast with white lady chicken <laughs> sandwiches. <laughs> Okay, so how do we want to? Well, I'm sorry. Have you been to Chicken Salad Chick? I I have not, but I just like just this concept. Hey, like, Spence. That's our. Hey, that's our. Hey. Here. It's pretty okay. good. Like they got some it's good stuff. So, do you want us to try it in front of you and tell you, or just? Yeah, no, I'm just bringing okay. it in. I'm gonna go eat my other sandwich. <laughs> okay, so which way do you want to start? Some of us are allergic to cheese, but we're still having no, we'll, we'll cheese. Start, why don't so, we start at the first plate? Pass it around. Lactate. Sponsor mm -hmm. me, lactate. <laughs> Sponsor me. <laughs> <laughs> Go clip that. Oh no, it was off camera. Oh. It was off camera. I can't believe this. Never mind, well, you can't. It was off camera. We're still clip it anyway. If we can use it, we can use it. Alright, so we got this first one. <sighs> Smells mm. it. That's you. The, uh, Yay, the, copyright that strike. <laughs> no, it's potential spam. <laughs> We're not sure. It could be spam. It could be. It couldn't be. If you want to take Potentially. It. All right, so. Hmm. It smells like bread. Mm-hmm. This is, a, I'm pretty sure this is a store-bought. Very, very creamy, very soft. Salty, though. It, it is salty. Uh-huh. Like it's really salty. There's not enough peppers in here. Yeah, there's like Where's, no peppers. Which one do they come from? That one. Oh, no. Mm, another. It's I mean, like I'll try another. Just uh, deconstruct. Oh. I'm not. I'm not. Okay, just on the edge. I'm not seeing a lot of pimentos. So I see like one again. Three key ingredients: cheese, mayo. Yeah, mayo. there's barely any. Uh, and like, there's no. This is this is cheese. It tastes like maybe there's a little red spot there. Yeah, I got you one red real spot quick. This whole one. And like that's, which like screams like you use one pepper in the entire batch or something. Like I don't. I'd, I'd go a step further. I think they got all the proportions wrong. They skimped on the cheese. They skimped on the pepper, and they just went it's all mostly mayo. Yeah. Mayo. It's a lot of mayo. A lot of it, salt. It, it, it is. Tastes like I don't even think it's mayo. mayo. I think this might be more of a sandwich whip. Yeah, it tastes this, like this would be something that I could see it being a sandwich look like you're suggesting, but I, I oh can't. Oh God, I hope I hope it isn't M's. I don't want to be like. No, that's. I'm pretty sure that's not. But that one, I'd be really. I'll go ahead and say this I'd one. Be really sad. If this was anything but the store bought, I'd be upset that they were selling that for anything less than like, you know, retail price. Now I got a feeling that this is the store bought, mm. and this the only thing I'll give it credit and give it points for is. That's something that was always in an ice chest on a family trip for me. Yeah. Like if we went. So it has like a nostalgia. There's a nostalgic thing for it because I remember we'd all load up. My mom had like the old brown box van, like the like yeah. 92 Ford. You're not getting any. And in the ice chest would be like Capri Suns, Cokes, uh, Minna Cheese, peanut butter, which was always weird to get a cold peanut butter sandwich, but. And then like a thing of ham or turkey. And so yeah. like people can make sandwiches because if we went to like, because my family went to every single high school football game. Mm -hmm. So when I was little, before I had a choice of where I was going to spend my Fridays, I went because it was my parents, it was my grandparents. So if it was a away game, we didn't stop and get McDonald's. We, yeah. We, y'all had. We had an ice yeah. chest full of stuff. Yeah, I mean, I can see, to like, fair, that's what I do with my family now. Yeah. But you also have three. And, and, and like, the, going to McDonald's is a $50 affair for you. It's 50 bucks, no matter where we go. Yeah, the, um, I mean, I could see the nostalgic, but, like, if someone was, like, <laughs> and you just... He can't appear on camera. The camera can't get him, but there's a footstool on the other side of the table from Chris and Jed. And my, my old weenie dog is just... It's just demanding. Yeah. Okay, so uh, we're, let's say this is going to be ranked three for now, right? Like, yeah. Well, it's, uh, at the moment, it's both three and one because we have not tried any others. No, it, does, it doesn't get to be one. Now, redeeming feature, I could see this being really good on like a ham sandwich. Yeah, yeah. If it was toasted, like, redeeming feature, toasted, re redeeming feature. That's good bread. Yeah. Well, like, <laughs> the thing is, it's like... If that's toast, solid sandwich bread right there. Yeah. If someone gave me that, like, if I got, like, a full sandwich of that and, like, 
you know, two, three dollars, like, I, I ain't complaining. If, if that was used yeah, as the condiment chips. or the yeah, cheese chips, yeah. on an actual sandwich, then fine. Yeah. Okay, it, that would be good but, on top of but, a, ham, a ham cheese in, sandwich, yeah. yeah. But in terms of, like, quality pimento cheese, mm, uh, no. All right. Do we want to get another beer first? No. Or? No? Because we're moving right along, no? Because I'm not, I'm I almost mean, done. I'm Are you done? No. Are you done? No. Are you done? I have two sips left of my. If my I have like a sip. Hold on, they all roll. Then I, I've already rolled for mine. So okay, I mean, oh, I'm not. I'm not near done. I was just asking. Probably not gonna finish them. <laughs> well, we can roll and then we can start setting up. Mm-hmm. Oh. Seventeen. Eighteen. I got a nine. or something. It doesn't it's matter to me. It's more of a... It's a whole pint. Uh, it's a bigger can. Could ask the people that have to wash the dishes. Well, I mean, I'm going to have... I, I have one. That, yeah, that's uh, true. That's yeah. true. Anyway, um, so yeah. Fun thing about, like, we haven't said this yet, but like, uh, pimento cheese is commonly known, or uncommonly known, as the caviar of the South. It is something that we actually, like, we, we do this. I don't know why this is it the thing lasts. It, it, it lasts. It spreads, yeah. it spreads the cheese. It's versatile. It spreads cheese to last. Fairly cheap. It, it is, it's a cheap, th- it's like, why do we make so much Rotel? It feeds a large number of people for a very low amount. Because mayonnaise, shredded cheese, and pimento peppers that come in a little jar. Puppy. On Puppy. screen. <laughs> Puppy on screen. Hey. Puppy on the screen. Hey. When did you anyway, do this? So yeah, it's it's something to make bread taste less like bread, and it's been it's around for, for a very long time, which is why it's something we wanted to do, of like, hey, it's a yeah, and southern it, staple situation. All right, said, so we're going we're going with the cups. Cool. Okay, not that mug. That mug leaks. It, it, oh, it started. No. It, oh. it eventually started leaking. That sucks. It does, but I mean, it lasted like over a decade. I made them that. That mug. It's my Odin mug. It used to be my DM mug for everything. Right. On. So yeah. So the beer I brought is a, a Dippa. It's a double IPA. Um, I personally love. I love bold, complex flavors. And since you all pass me all glasses. Since I have gone from uh, something like there is no such thing as a daily drinker because I don't drink daily. I don't drink multiple cans daily. So when I when I able to sit down and have a beer, then I want I want some I want a large beer. I want a heavily alcoholic and I also are heavy on the alcohol and I also want a lot of flavor. I the rest of Chris's. I want a lot of flavor to my beer. Um, IPAs um, represent that. They do a great job at that with a, with a lot of flavor. This is um, 8% Eight percent alcohol per volume. Uh, coming a whole pint. Uh, it's from our local brewery, Flying Tiger. Sponsor us. I love Flying Tiger. They're, they're a great brewery. Um, That's solid. <clears throat> all their beers are just yeah. Every one of them's great. They recently opened up pizza uh, uh, pizza oven. I measured that wrong. In I their in their brewery, yeah. uh, Victory Pizza. I think I got it. So yeah. Oh it's shit! Now I need pizza to go to, are there. Uh, it's really good. It's, it, wait, so it's at their. It's inside the brewery. They have a brick oven, and they make their own pizza. Oh, and I'm like, not flying heart. No, now no, I got I, it. Now I got flying it. Tiger. So we got three that's places in Monroe to go. Yeah. That's three so, places in Monroe to go. Yeah, that's like so Milano, that's so okay. let, let me talk about this for a second because I, I, I love writing reviews on Google and whatnot, and I wrote a whole wrote a whole paragraph and a half on these guys because they could have got away with like your Hunts Brothers gas station pizza. They could have got away with it because who's who's their target market? It's a captive audience. It's people who came for the beer, are currently drinking, and they're buying pizza while they're there. But they went 
and did the dang thing. They got they have pizza where they they partnered with the barbecue place across the uh, across the river, um, Jacks. Mm-hmm. So they have like a pulled pork pizza with like a hot honey drizzle. Look, freaking amazing. That's I think it's like the called the Twin Cities. They've got everything. Every single thing was great. I have had pizza. like six pizzas. They're all brick oven, like oh hot. brick oven. Yeah, like, it's just sort of almost New York style thin crust, or it's thinner. It's it's thinner, but okay. it's, not, it's not floppy. So is it's it, not it's not it's, it's not part? Johnny's, but I think so. Okay, I'm in. I think uh, so. Nah, we, we're gonna have to go one day. Anyway, so yep. yeah, by yeah. resting pace, dip up. Uh, first off, I'm gonna say I do like that it is not yeah. see through. It's it's. Meant to be hazy, it's a juicy, yeah. mm-hmm. whatever you want to call it. When I go, when I, I lean towards lighter beers, because I'm usually a motor oil, black beer type person, when I go towards, when I when I go for lighter beers, I do say lighter, because they're not light, I want something with bold flavors to it still, and this doesn't... This doesn't punch me in the stomach. It doesn't feel like I'm eating a burger when I'm drinking the beer. But at the same time, it has the right kick and mouthfeel for me. This is the right way to do an IPA. Well, this is like part of the newest trend with the hazy IPAs. Mm-hmm. Whereas it's more like fruity and herbal. I'm just saying this. Remember yeah. for a while, because back in the day before we did this, when Chris, in college and post-college, Chris and I would get together and spend $50, $60 Mm -hmm. each on meats, cheese, and beers. Mm -hmm. And we would just try... I really miss the Trappist cheese that we got, the the, the, the Monk beer cheese, Berkshire stuff here. We would basically just make a charcuterie and just try beers and be like, I wonder what this is like. And there were some... some What happened to that? Why can we have to go to Well, we can do... I mean, make, make a southern. It. You know what? Next one. Next time we do this, we'll do. We'll all bring a part and make a southern charcuterie board. <laughs> we will not talk to each other beforehand about what we bring to be on the southern charcuterie board. Cut scene. We all just bring meat. <laughs> it's just... And we still wouldn't have done it wrong. <laughs> we wouldn't have done it wrong. It can be all meat, all cheese, but not all vegetables. Yeah. Or, or all I fruit. Did. I swear to Jesus, if we all show up with fruit. That's not a charcuterie. That's just... It's a fruit basket. You don't know me very well. It's a I'm fruit a, salad. Well, hold on. I'm a fruit salad, fruit. though. Well, hold on. Bell peppers are a fruit. Bell peppers are okay, a fruit. I'm talking about, like, okay, I will eat, like, grapes and blueberries on their own. Just, you don't do that, right? No. Yeah. That's one, what the, I was one of the best things they had at that that art thing I didn't know what to last night, it was by Jack's, the, the barbecue place. They had a smoked... Oh, right? They had a smoked pork loin with smoked... Uh, cream cheese and a smoked mm-hmm. strawberry preserve. Uh huh. Like a slice of pork loin, smear of cream cheese, smear of the strawberry. Mm-hmm. It was phenomenal. I had six of them. They, they get they walk by, they give you one, you try it. I kept going back. Like I was like, I'm, I'm gonna give I, them my quick. They're absolutely amazing. That reminds me of something that I had gotten recently. I went to one of the uh, markets in West where I live. Uh huh. Um, and it was like these two old ladies and it, all they were selling was pepper jelly. And I was like, okay, I go up there. Mm -hmm. They're, they aren't selling like normal, just, you know, like jalapeno or bell pepper. They got the spicy hot shit. So I'm like, okay, okay. I'm going to get me like some habanero. I got me some habanero pepper jelly. And I, I got a little bit of the, you know, those fancy crackers. I got me a cream cheese spread, put on that. That shit. Now, Emily's jalapeno jelly is really good, too. God, it's so good. Like yeah, We got to actually get jalapenos to grow. So what do you, tell me what, how, what do you like about this beer? Okay, flavor-wise, it's one step above this. Like, it's, it's the same notes. Mm-hmm. Like, the same notes of commotion are in this, but this one, it's louder. Yeah. Uh, and I'll be honest, like what I was saying earlier, like Chris and I drank IPAs when everybody was making a fucking IPA for no reason. Yep. And all and they did was like, let me pour five pounds of Cascade hops so that just you, so you get a beer that tastes like fucking pine salt. It's they, so they, hopping. They just bitter it. Well, no, the thing is, is, is there are some hops, I don't mind a ton of them being in there. Calypso yeah. 
or what was the, the big, it was big something, it was a British hop. That well, almost there, had the, a tea, the there's a British thing. hop that's almost a tea flavor, mm -hmm. and the a lot big, of those are good, but people would add them in in such an amount back then. Like, it's like, okay, like, I love some dogfish head. Yeah. I wish that we could get some of the dogfish head beer that's not their five billion different IPAs. Yeah. I mean, that's their specialty, and they kind of started the trend. But the thing that people didn't get at the time, and I'm going to go on a little bit of a rant here, like, back ten years ago when they were really exploding, and, you know, there was this whole explosion in breweries, yeah. is they would just make, these people would just make really grassy, really bitter IPAs. Yeah, that, and all yeah. the, well, the only, the only flavor profile that people knew an IPA had to have was the flavor of hops. Yeah. And so you, you literally went from your, your really light, watery type beers, which are great lawnmower beers, nothing against them, yeah. please don't come at me in the, in the comments, actually, come at me, put your hands on me, I don't care. Um, Hashtag come at him, John Ham. Right here, right here. Anyway. That you went from that to hops, all hops, mouthful of pines on, yeah. and which there there needed to be some middle ground, and I think after a few years, like yeah, some yeah. of the some of the bigger or different yeah. labels started like calming it down and finding diff yeah. good flavors. Uh, Goose Island, Goose Island yeah, had a good, good IPA. I really, I really wish they didn't jump up in price like they did. Yeah, it's yeah. Like they, the, um, oh shit, what was I say? No, but. Going back to Dogfish, I actually tried them again recently. I got their 120 minute IPA. Yeah. Okay, so that they were near as hoppy as I was expecting. Because, you know, that was one of the ones that they were like, man, this is like, you know, it's meant for the hop heads. But I wasn't like. They it went, they, I think they might have dialed it back a bit. Or maybe it's just like I got so used to an IPA, like my brain always went to like the absurd ones where it was just like there wasn't really any like the, the cedar one we drank. Yeah, like and that one's drinkable when it it's barely drinkable when it's good, not warm and flat. Yeah. But I'll say this: there's a it's not a grapefruit note. It's no. more like a was it a citron? Is a citron? Yeah, it, it's got some citrus. I mean, it's yeah, it's not a it's. The cuties and the halos. What, yeah. what are those? Clementines? Clementines, yeah. Okay, that's what I'm thinking. Citron's a stone. Yeah. Uh, but that that kind of like not quite an orange. Yeah. It, mm. it, 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 it kind of goes from Clementine to like grapefruit. Mm -hmm. sort of. It doesn't really ever get fully to grapefruit for me because grapefruit's... Yeah. Grapefruit's got a, got a good bitter bite in yeah, the back. Yeah. That's it's, it's, this has a light bitterness. There, there's... It, I want when Setsuma season comes back around... For us to get the Satsuma Abita, yeah. if they still make it. Or there's several places that do Satsuma beers because uh, for anybody that's not from Louisiana, Satsuma is like one of two citrus that will grow pretty much anywhere in the state because they're more frost resistant because as far down as Alexandria, we can sometimes expect snow. Sometimes. Well, sometimes. Okay, yeah, with the exception so of this, well, let's be fair. Last year was the first time in like four years we have not gotten stupid snow. It's true, uh, to the point to where my my seven year old daughter told me all year round she can't wait for January and February because that's when it snows. And I'm and me being you know, thirty six years old, lived in the state my whole life. I was like, no, it doesn't. It snow. It snowed there the past few years, but it doesn't snow January, and February every year. And I think like you're seven years old this year, for the past. Yeah. Half her life. Like, for like a good half your life, and all of it being the later half of your life, it has snowed during that time, so it makes sense. But no, they actually, uh, Flying Tiger describes the beer as, a, as a, a juicy, hazy departure from hops as you know them. They, they're like, right. Like, it, it's, it's a lot of notes, so like it's, it, is, it does have hops in it, but it's not super slappy in the face. Um, okay, you can already see my, yeah. my review of it. Good, the juicy, eh? the juicy part of it Here. reflects the the citrus notes you're talking about, and Shirley's hazy. Yeah, it's the, or go ahead. It's I'm about to say it's extremely similar to their beer that they've called, titled Juicy. Mm -hmm. Juicy sporadically has different fruit which, flavors. Added which to I it. thought about bringing, but we drank on a different uh, night, and I was like, you know what, I don't want to. Well, they're doing like a, a juicy series of beers. Yeah. It says this is part of that series. Yeah. Juicy cannot beer series. Yeah. Um, 
But that's not just that's not just them. That's breweries across the yeah, state. Yeah, it's, 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 it's a trend. The juicy IPA is the new it is a new trend coming out. It's like Ghost in the Machine. It, really yeah. good. it might just be me, but I almost feel like this is just too similar. I'm not to the juicy one. Yeah, I'm not okay. picking up a whole lot of difference. I I like it more because it's less juice forward. Like uh, there's there's less. Um, it's more bitter than sweet. Yes. Yes, it's less less fruit forward. That might forward. be the difference. It has been a minute since I've had their juicy, so yeah. I might be missing their juicy. Right? Uh, uh, this, we, this oh, is did we do the next one? We have not. No, yet. no, I'm passing oh. them out. Okay, well, we gotta check since. Oh, there's man. The, uh, I think this, this is, is actually. I think this might be M's because I'm seeing. I was gonna say I think this is the restaurant. You think this might be the restaurant? Yeah. Hold on. No, the There's worst no thing. cheese. So the There's worst no thing about cheese. these dairy pills that I have to have every time I'm about to eat the actual dairy is that they all taste like vanilla. Hmm. I don't know why, but y'all decided that every one of them needs to taste like vanilla. It's not freaking cool, guys. Sometimes I don't want to taste vanilla. I just want to not poop my pants while eating cheese. You know what? Surprise them and give them chocolate. Please. Make one strawberry. Please. But come on. Not Any... mint, though. Mint would be a little jarring. Mint though. would be worse than vanilla, but like... Right now, like vanilla and beer is not that's not a fun combination. Mm. Uh, that one's good though. Can I get another one? Yeah. The the cheese. Okay, so this one I can tell is a whipped cheese product. This is with an a, actual with cheese. a sandwich spread and then a sprinkling of pimento. Oh. But this this right here, you can actually see cheese mm -hmm. in it. You can see shredded cheese in it. We can also see the pimentos, like actually. Yeah. No, the, the last like one is sizable pimentos too. They got the proportions of this one. Right. My my only issue with this is I want a kick in pimento cheese. That is something. This is this is very plain Jane. That's the reason I'm kind of with Kyle that I think this is the restaurant one. Okay, I, I can see that. Because this is uh, very much let's not make certain people feel uncomfortable by making them eat a cheese sandwich. I think the reason oh, why this, I, I initially. Yeah, look at it. Look at this. Yeah, I think the initial reason why I, I went with that being M's is because I saw the chunkiness of it, and I'm like, okay, that looks homemade. Because that's usually like. That's. that's so I want another one. That, that's actually pretty good. I I did all I had for lunch was like some vegetables, so. I had a peanut butter tortilla wrap. Let's be honest, this is dinner. This is dinner. Yeah. Exactly like, I, 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 walk, I walked into here consuming. Before we ate potato chips in the kitchen. But this, this I consume less than 600 calories. I'm going to go out on a limb and say, this doesn't feel like pimento cheese as much to me as it does me eating a bag, me eating a handful of shredded cheese okay, does this, that also this, had pimentos in my hand. Like, it's, that, that, that had more, that was more miracle whip flavored and, and like more, more mayonnaise forward. This one doesn't feel like it has the smooth texture that I want because I, I literally feel like I'm, Handful of cheese that has has some pimento. I, I don't dislike that though. This right here has the the texture of pimento cheese that I've grown up eating. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm like a hundred percent sure this is the store. Uh, hey buddy. Hey bud, what's up? Hi, oh, give me a hug. Hey, I love you. That's weird because I love you. A lot of the pimento cheese I had had more of that texture. About to plant a flag in the ground on this one. Huh? Uh, yes. yes. Tell everybody good night. Nope. Good night. Good night, Good night buddy. buddy. Don't stick it. He's sticking his tongue out on screen. No, come this way. Go ahead and flip that. Uh oh. Hi, Hey, don't no, don't do that. Hey. Hitting the door. Hey, hey, it's time to go to bed, dude. Go, 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 mom. Go, mom. Go, mom. So. I am absolutely sure this one's from the restaurant. Yeah. Because I know the restaurant. I've had their different, different foods several mm -hmm. times. They all have one thing in, te in common. The chunky? It's not so much the chunky as it has this certain dryness to it. Okay. Yeah. I'm it's picking not... up that on this. It's not dry, but it's, it's, it's like this dry texture that's in all of their food. Okay. Well... Like my, here's my thing. 
Like, like someone who doesn't eat there is good. It's definitely like, better I've than always, the first one. It like, is way uh, better than the first one. I no, it, it is this. way better. Like it, like the saltiness comes from the cheese, and it tastes like cheese. That just yeah. had like a salt flavor. Yeah. Well, uh, but you, I mean, you assaulted by it. Yeah, but when it comes to that texture, like I'm. I mean, I'm pretty used to that texture. Like, when my dad used to make it, it would be kind of like, it would be yeah. chunkier as opposed to smoother like that. Yeah, yeah. I, I would say, like, whereas the first one felt like it could be the cheese in a sandwich or a condiment to a sandwich, this one feels like it could be yeah, the sandwich. That's all it needs to be. Yeah. Which is where it, which is where it should be. It's a fermented cheese sandwich. It's, it doesn't have to be anything else. Yeah. So I'm good with that. But in the same in the same aspect, I feel like it's very cheese forward. Yeah, yeah. It does need like the you taste the pimentos, but it needs a kick. It needs that. Punch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need something else in there. Okay. I I called it plain Jane earlier. But no, this is this is really good. Like I'm yeah. like I'm I'm I enjoyed that. Yeah. If that is good. if that is from the restaurant, which I'm. I think we're all, is that the restaurant? Yeah. yeah, yeah, we're, we're kind of... I mean, initially I thought it could have been hers, kind of just agreement. because my initial sight of it was it, like... It, a, it looks it, more homemade. Yeah. yeah. And, and let's be and honest... It probably is. It's probably made yeah. in-house. Yeah. But let's be completely yeah. honest. If that ends up being M's, and this one ends up being the restaurant's, then all we did was say that M cooks as good as a restaurant. If that one ends up being M's, then we're all screwed. We need to go home now. So. I'm gonna run out the back door. <laughs> Y'all need to. Take, I don't live here. Take me fun. with you. Take me with you. <laughs> anyway, you ready to? Roll? You will trip me as you go out the door. <laughs> He's not gonna catch both of us. <laughs> all right. Uh, what is this? I actually rolled above a ten. That's a seventeen. So. Seventeen. All right. I know which one is yours. Uh, well, it's two. It's the one that's not his. Okay, so there's one bottle, just one big uh, bottle, and, and then there's a six pack. There's a six pack. Bring the uh, bottle opener with you. Uh, six pack in the. Did uh, you bring the, two beers? I brought two beers. Here's extra. Look, okay. I, once you bring the beers, I'll explain my. Uh, I'm bringing them both. Bringing them both. Okay. Wait. Okay. So. <laughs> you know look. how hard it is for me not to eat another one of these right now I'm because I'm awesome. Eat it. But the thing is, I'm looking at this. I've only had 400 calories today. Okay, you were until I've you had, had 400 calories in the last four bites of the vanilla and cheese. Like I had, I, know, I, right? I, I until Jed got here, I didn't have uh -uh, 600. No. And then we ate, then we ate chips, and so then I was at 900 calories. There's a reason that Southern dudes are fat. Gizmo, Gizmo. Oh. I miss you, buddy. Hey, buddy. I don't know who Gizmo is, but uh, apparently you're important. Gizmo's one of my favorites. Gizmo's awesome. He's one of his favorites, so he must be yeah, awesome. He, he's our British friend. Let, let, let me not oh, lie. Yeah. Everybody in Chris's uh, online game that I was a part of for a while are my favorites. Mm -hmm. uh, but Gizmo played Kahlua, and uh, I know we're then Neve play, or, uh, Tony <laughs> played Neve. <laughs> Those two, ca my character Aldrich would have died for two members of the party. The rest of them not so Giz much. Gizmo, have you ever had fermented cheese? Yes, I'm British. I'm afraid. Wait, hold on. That is a good question. Have you had pimento cheese? Gizmo, do you know what pimento cheese? You must is? answer the question or leave the chat. Don't do that. We need the no. view. Okay. No. Hey, Gizmo, okay. have you had pub cheese dip? Yeah, that's the uh, other one. That's the first Where's one. the big one? It's. I uh, like it up. Yeah, it's in the middle drawer. Or oh middle no, drawer. we had a view go down. Jen told him he had to leave. Oh, no. Why did you do this? I said answer the question or leave, not answer yes or leave. But Giz, if you're still here, have you had, uh, in America they call it pub cheese dip. I don't know if that's a British thing or if they've oh, been lying to us. It is a process, it is basically, they try to advertise it as like British cheese dip. Okay, Gizmo, in America... They've tried to make British nacho cheese. See, it wasn't my fault. No, don't. It's not good. But I was going to say, this over here is like someone threw red peppers in like processed cheese dip. It's very salty. Okay, chat. so what's up with this beer? We're start okay, with so the reason why I got two different beers. Do I need to? You need to yeah, drink. Yeah, go ahead. Drink. Finish. Pass the glasses. Uh, the main reason oh. why I got two different beers is because I couldn't... I Pub couldn't cheese find the dips, beer. SM, what's SMDH mean? Shake my damn head. Oh. 
It's true, though. You're an old fogey. I'm still recovering. Uh, yes, you're 100% right, but it's like the Walmart version that we can get over here. Okay, so the original beer I wanted to get was Warsteiner. Warsteiner? And it's technically the 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 style it is, it says it's a double bock, but I don't think it's a true double bock. It's called a dunkel. It's a, Warsteiner is a German Oh, beer I got company. the yeast cake. Oh, you did. Oh, good job. Uh, you know, it'll taste a little bit better. Uh, but I think, like, when it comes to beers, like, German beers specifically kind of made me, like, this sounds bad, I'm, 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 it made me fall in love with beer in terms of, like, taste and just, yeah, being able to be like, oh, this is, because beer actually can be good. What? Because almost all American beers... Mm. Are a light version to begin with yeah. of a German yeah. beer because, like, Budweiser, Coors, Miller, even well, Younglings and Ale. Mm. Now, this is a uh, this was German one Pilsners. that we tried early on that we really enjoyed. I haven't had it in a minute, but so before mm. I was gonna say, before we drink, why do you why do we have the bottles? Oh, it's a different beer. Oh, this I, is um. This is an original premium, premium Baba Vitericum. Oh, uh, Hefeweiss. Hefeweiss here. And those are, yeah, if you want to know this man's favorite beer, it's going to be a Hefeweiss. It's either a Hefeweiss in or a Bach. Uh, German beer. I think this one might, might be slightly scalped, but. It's, it is a little bit, but then again. But I don't think Chris and I have met a beer we don't really like, except for light beers. Clown shoes. No, oh, I don't like clown shoes, no. That's a brand thing, and that's because they decided to stick everything for a decade inside of an oak fucking barrel. Ah, uh, yeah. To be fair, I had one I'm clown shoes that was very good, but it was it was also the yeah. uh, the barrel-aged Bavarian sour beer. Yada, 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 yada. Well, here's the deal is, just like we, we mentioned earlier with IPAs, hmm. there was another, like, five-year period not too long ago where everything was oak barrel-aged or rum barrel-aged. Yeah. Let, let's and whiskey it, barrel age wine barrel I mean there were a few wine barrel ones and none of them were good because what they did is they actually took oak chunks charred oak chunks and threw them into the fermenting process like if you were to buy a kit if you were to get the oak barrel stout from yeah. Northern Brewer you, just, you would get either chunks or a coil of charred oak wood and all it's going to do is make your beer taste like butter but I'm glad you bring up Northern Brewer because this is one of the ones we first tried. It is. Like, this is an ale. It isn't a pilsner. It isn't like a lager. It's just a, uh, it's just a Bavarian ale. And it was one of the first beers we decided to. Dewey. Oh my gosh. Dewey, stop using your ass to move the camera. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Go clip it. It's all about me. It's not about you. It's my show now. It's my show now. Get it, get it, get it, get it. <laughs> oh, oh now I'm there. Okay. All right, y'all. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, we, we've learned a very important lesson. Uh, using the light stands for cameras is not bad. Until the dog puts his ass on it. Until the the dog, dog is very interested in the pimento cheese. But yeah, no. Dewey is interested in all food. I couldn't exact. Okay, the only double block I could find was the Celebrator, Ooh. which is good, but I it was just too heavy for what I wanted. There's, there's something about this that I just don't. I'm not enjoying, and it might be the it's, it's, it's older. Least, okay, yeah, here's, it, here's it, the it, deal: when you whenever you see Warsteiner, yeah, uh, or right, that's Weidensteiner, which I am not pronouncing that right. Don't get on me. I'm not German. Um, okay, Germany's a little bit different on some of the stuff, but. Anything, uh, especially like here in Monroe. Oh, here we go. It's the end. It's the end of it. You're getting a like kind of a skunky taste. Yeah. yeah. That's, this was that's... okay. First off, this will explain one thing. This was bottled in Florida. Uh... I, a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I really hope M's comments come in through the camera because it's just like. But okay, so here's part of the thing. 
Uh, this beer is supposed to be drank at, uh, kept at 46 to 52 degrees. If you go too cold or you, get, you don't go cool enough, this beer will go bad. Okay. Also, this sits. You get a bottle this, like this, this one, probably especially, it will sitting. sit. It will sit for months. And unlike uh, Abita or Sam Adams or a lot of the other smaller breweries who buy back their skunked and bad beer. Yeah. Um, well, you can't really do that because a lot of This the- company doesn't. Especially Florida. Yeah. I understand it's a calculated risk getting German beers because sometimes they'll sit on the shelf now, for a little the, bit. Remember when Polner used to still make mini kegs? Oh, that was so good. Mini kegs? I, I miss a Newcastle kegs, honestly. If I found a Newcastle keg, that's what I would have been bringing here. Mini keg? Okay, for a while we got mini kegs and we used them so much in steampunk. We made war hammers and like uh, jet packs and <laughs> okay. shit. Okay. Because, one, you get to drink a whole mini keg of beer, and then you have a small metal vessel to do shit with. The only mini kegs I ever bought in my entire life were, were the Heineken keg cans. Yeah, we did those. We, we did some The keg Heineken items. keg cans were, were like my go-to of, like, I want to buy a beer, but I don't want a malt liquor beer. I'm going to get a Heineken keg can because it's, it's fun. Now, we, we bought the Heineken that you had to actually Oh, yeah, the pump. pump. Yeah, this was, this was just a can. It was like that big around and that uh, big. I don't know why. I don't know why it existed, but it was definitely a. I have one beer and I'm gonna drink it all night. That's why I will sporadically buy the two dollar can of Fosters at the gas station when it's like I don't. I don't want to buy a six pack because if I have, there's several days that if I buy a six pack and I go home, there's a chance that six pack is not there the next day, and I did not need to do that. But I was playing video games or crafting. But if I buy that big fat ass can, yeah, that's all I'm going to drink. See that? And I was, uh, there were some. Um, I think it was Voodoo or Ghost in the Machine. It was, one of, it was one of those like good, good brand name beers where they had those big cans like that at the QT in Dallas when I was over in Dallas. And I like, I got a little spoiled by that. I came, I came back home. I keep going to gas stations okay. expecting to have like. They're gonna have good beers and, and like just a single can. No, they do not. And I'm always okay. upset. Yeah. Okay. So I'm, I'm this, with you on that. This beer, Hefeweizen, is a wheat beer. So it's a mixture of barley and yeah, wheat. And it has a. It's one of the beers that has a signature haze about it. Okay, so Hewitt, say the thing you just said out loud. All right, uh, I said that to Kyle is because one of the things is if you pick this bottle up and hold it to the light. Uh, it, it does have a slight yeast cake. If you look but... at the bottom of it, you will see that there is a sediment that is not grain. Like hold it up so the light goes through it. You'll notice the bottom is... They're bottle fermented. Yeah, they're bottle fermented. So there is a yeast cake in it, which is why, like... Okay, this one's not. These yeah, are huge, so like I can do this. Yeah. But but I'm not getting the, that the last bit. Thing, I'm not doing the last bit that's in there because that will. The great thing you know, about this is that if you're the, not if you're not used to it, it will give you the the poops. The yeast cake actually kind of contributes to the flavor for this one. It does. Okay. So, uh, it's a good one. Okay. It's also not scummed. It's not skunked. Uh, mm. It has fruit flavors compared to like something, but okay. compared to like something like that, it, that, it, it, that pepper note though. That one yeah. of the things I love about it is pepper. No, there's there's a little black pepper note in there. It's not strong. It's usually right towards the back end. There's a slight little pinch. Yeah, I know. It, it's it's. I don't think it's pepper. It's a spice of some sort, but I don't think it's pepper. It's not. It might spice. be allspice, mm. but it's be. a little peppery to me. Uh, yeah. Spice, cinnamon. Now, so in the very to beginning, be clear, all, like, all that fruit is, a, is in the very beginning. Yeah. Like, okay. Okay. Yeah. And to be clear, this is a very simple beer. <sighs> yeah. This is just straight. This is made with the first harvest of wheat usually. Yeah. Yeah. It's like That's wheat, like, barley, very minimal hops. Barley, barley. Very, so it's barley, very opposite barley. to what we've been drinking. It is. It's very opposite from the hoppy beers now, and, this, and the juicy beers. This and stuff. ice cold, ice ice cold. With an orange? With an orange, or you put it into a ice cold glass. I can see all of that. It's, like it's crisp enough really, that the really colder refreshing. it gets, it makes it 
I feel like I'd want to throw one of these in the freezer, go mow my lawn, and then come back and, and drink it right out of it. And I, that'd be great. Come back and clean up your freezer. Yeah. yeah. It wouldn't freeze that quick. Wait, hold on. Jet, how much? Jet, well, it depends on how long it takes you to mow your lawn. Yeah, no, it, it's... Yeah. Not very long. He has a small yard. Oh. And a riding lawnmower. Mm. That's good. I, I wish I had a riding lawnmower. Yeah. Or a lawnmower. I, I, I'm slightly hurt. judging you, but that's so, only because I use a self propelled So, So what happened was... We found the lawnmower, riding lawnmower on the internet, on Facebook Marketplace for cheap, but it needs it needs some work. And then we bought it, brought it home, and I did the work. You know, I redact my statement. Like I uh, changed fuel filters, I changed belts, uh, switched out batteries. Like I I did all the stuff and got it working again. And like I I earned it. Damn it. The last thing I'll say before we eat this is that with this one, this beer. I think Despite how simple it is, was the beer that we had the most trouble making. No, that was the steam lager. The steam, no, the steam lager came out good, but like yeah, that was okay. No, that was the most labor intensive one we did. Yeah, but no, like simple doesn't mean it's easy. Okay, I got a feeling this is going to pair pair well with this. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I, I like this. Yeah, it's Adams. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's that little bit of a tiny hint of spice in there. Pepper Jack cheese. Mm -hmm. There's actual a little bit of a kick. Mm -hmm. This is Emily's. There's cayenne in that. It's halfway through, halfway through the bite, you're like a little bit of spice. You look close, and the, the cheese has some whiteness to it. Yep. It's almost mm -hmm. too much mayo, though. Almost. You can get stabbed. Uh, I'm I'm over here. I'm entitled to his opinion. Hold on. Oh, yeah. oh, he's entitled to his opinion. He's entitled to his opinion. Wait. Uh, I also got in trouble because I told or uh, they found out today. I'm not a big fan of pimento cheese. Hey, oh, that's a miscommunication on our part. It's fine. Like, I I don't hate it. I I ate. There's only one I couldn't eat because it's. It's grody. It's, it's gross. It's a Just, spread. It's not designed to be eaten alone. You gotta have like other condiments on there. I agree. But these two, they're good. I can eat them. If somebody handed this to me as a snack, I'm not gonna be upset. I'll eat it. This, it's this just, screams homemade. Yeah. Yeah. yeah like you, the cheese itself. Is there? Does the heat start building up for you, Chris? Mm -hmm. A little bit. Yes. Yeah. That's the type of heat I like in food. Mm. That's good. And and kind of see. There's, you can still see the shred, the shredded cheese, two different types of shredded cheese. It's got the mayo in there. You've got the the big hunk of pepper in there. Like it's, the mayo is not white anymore. It's orange. Why? Because seasoning's a thing. You'll be doing the stuff. And sometimes, fired. sometimes <laughs> things that are white turn to orange. It's part of it. Don't but, say that too loud because that's tough. But that one, 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 one. <laughs> I'll stop. I'll stop. Anyway, it was really good. Got yeah, like the heat on it. I would definitely put this as the best one we've had. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it pleasantly, it got better as we went along. It is really nice that it ended up that way. I think hey, with the. Uh, I think Emily did that on purpose. Hey, Em. Yeah. You win. <laughs> wait! 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 No, Em. Come, come tell us that we were right when we judged these things. Yep, from what I can hear... We've been very what? judgmental you towards guys, all well, of you them. you guys were right. Walmart, chicken salad chick, mine. Yours, Yours was the best. Yes, Emily is, wins. Yeah. yeah, and there is pepper jack cheese in it. <laughs> mine also has cream cheese. I called it... Oh, and, okay. And cream cheese. I, I called it from the first bite of like pepper jack. But then it got hotter than Pepper Jack's supposed to get. Like, See, the recipe I use doesn't really call for it. It calls for mozzarella and sharp cheddar. You've had plenty. But. <laughs> <laughs> I took it and he goes, oh. <laughs> there is still a little more in the fridge. But, um, There's more in the fridge. You can oh, dip the no, basket into the good one. Like oh. You just said you, you've but had it's, plenty. It's the sharp cheddar, the mozzarella, yeah. some Pepper Jack, cream okay. cheese, mayonnaise, Worcestershire, cayenne. And uh, wins again, Gizmo. Mustard powder, and uh, and it's a, yeah. 
There's the cayenne that like slowly builds in your yeah. mouth. And, and she bought new it's cayenne. It's only like her half a teaspoon too. She, she bought new cayenne and uh, let's be honest, the cayenne we've been using for a long time Old was, fuck. was probably older than my child. Oh. I forgot spices have an expiration date. Ah, you I mean, it, it, it just didn't mm. have any kick anymore, so I was you using did? a lot more of it. Spices don't like, have expiration dates if you use them enough. No. Yeah. Well, you sure. don't use a ton of cayenne and everything. Also, I'm susceptible to capsaicin. I'm, like, I'm pretty sure that I'm a little red across the forehead. Why did, did you, you give why me did that you, recipe? Why are we doing all these things with spicy foods at your house? Like, he what, likes what, to what? punish himself. Well, also, look. Because <laughs> it's fun. <laughs> there's also spicy, there are spicy foods that are good. Might, like, might I get that recipe? Yeah. And then there are spicy really foods legit, that you do Until we pot. did the bomb beyond insanity, I fully enjoyed everything about the wing challenge, okay? It was good. It was a good challenge. Hearing but hey, that, look, hearing look. Hearing that from another room was something else. Like, it look, made, look. The, the biggest travesty of that night to me is I did not get to try, what was the uh, the one begins with a C? Oh. Uh, okay. Tahula's. Mexican one? Cholulas? Cholulas. That one. I didn't get to try that one, and everyone kept... I, I'm in that... I'm on the other side of that wall regretting it's life like decisions. Songs. You tried it at the end. No, no. might not have tasted anything. No, no. I didn't get... I didn't eat anything after I came back from the bathroom. Look, no. But it's a new experience, right? Yeah, now you know. Yeah. You now know you know what your tolerance yeah. is, really. No, but... Now uh, you know not to drink chunky cream. Hey, what makes Swiss <laughs> cheese Swiss cheese? The part you eat or the part that is missed? And why are predictions made by flopping Swiss cheese on today's newspapers oddly far above and beyond statistical mathematical averages to become true? What? Bruh, that is too deep for me right now. <laughs> See, what happened was what? the Swiss, as a nation, decided... I'm just going to be making stuff up from here on out. Yeah, yeah that's, good. that's good. They made pork cheese. <laughs> they, they decided to abstain. <laughs> well, maybe they saw Germany's brewing and like heard about the angels cutting. You know what? We can do that with cheese. Mm, Get on yeah. our little Germany and Germany went. We got sausage. We're gonna invade Look, you. Don't, never mess with, <laughs> never mess with the Swiss. <laughs> Wait, do y'all know how Switzerland was founded? I have no idea. Did it have to do with cheese? Was, don't no. go in the teacher mode. No, 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 no. Okay, so. I, I, I grew up in Louisiana. We're like 49th in education. No, we're not. That's, no, Alabama. that's Alabama. Alabama's 50th. Mississippi's 49th. Arkansas sometimes is below. So we're sometimes 45. Yes! Yes! Moving up in the world. We're doing we're, it. We're only two states behind Texas. <sighs> and, and they pay their teachers so much more than us. No, they don't. I thought they did. Not anymore. Used to. Oh. They used to pay their teachers so much more than anyway, us. So <laughs> anyway, I guess you all were right. You got them all right. <laughs> so Switzerland. Uh, we're, we're good. Feeling good. Uh, we did it. It is. The Swiss still do this to this day. They have a military. They have uh, they have one of the smallest, but what's considered one of the best equipped militaries. But based on sheer size, we get those dudes with a bunch of shotguns and uh, yeah. four locos at them and win. Um, but well, that's the, a hard one. No, it's we hope that in every college. There's only one more. <laughs> but it's, uh, any case, what it is is that uh, Switzerland was founded by mercenary uh, knights in the Middle Ages. Oh, okay. And they got way up in the mountains. Uh, France tried to claim it. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, give give the pop. Yeah, Switzerland, I think everybody's allowed to own a firearm in Switzerland. It's just ammuni ammunition don't, is the issue. Don't they still have, like, conscription? Yeah, they have and so after that. you finish your conscription, you go home with your service rifle, and you expect yeah. to maintain it, because they can't at any time call you back. Yeah. Switzerland so, is... So I'm not against that, honestly. As, as, I mean, no, I mean no, if you're going to have guns, well, at least, you know, have people know, know how, how to use, use them. them. That's the big thing yeah. they're responsible for. Here's the deal. For Switzerland, which is smaller than Louisiana, that's fine. Yeah. I'm terrified sweet. of that idea is if we did that with the United States. Gizmo, I don't know if we know if no, we're no, talking about the right one. The Scandinavian countries, I think, have mandatory conscription as well. But... Oh! Yeah, uh, so the am uh, ammunition yeah. is the thing. Like, they can have a gun, but they can't really have ammo. So the big thing baseball is, bat? Yeah. So, uh, Switzerland uh, has to sue... Has to sue their use own. their own. Use okay, their so own. they they have to buy their own ammo. Okay. They have to sue their own weapon. Okay. They, have to, 
Gun, I'm suing you for bullets. That sounds like the most American thing ever. I'm suing my own gun because it shot me in the toe. Why did it shoot me in the toe? Well, I took off the guard above the, above the, the trigger. I was trying and to I, do and I was just some like, cool Clint Eastwood moves. You ever seen Tombstone where he's like, I wanted to do that. And then I'm going to be glad to be here. Anyway. So, uh, Switzerland was founded by uh, knights of, I don't know if they're related to the Teutonic Order or not, but they ended up up in the mountains, and Italy claimed it, France claimed it, German states claimed it, and then they tried to get up there, and um, Switzerland's really hard to invade. Yeah. Because it's, you're going uphill both ways, and so Switzerland basically was founded by mercenaries and bankers. Okay. And they will still occasionally rent out their military. That's why the Swiss guard that guards the Pope are technically mercenaries. I do not know if that's one hundred percent true anymore, but that was the case back in the back in the long, long ago in the before times. Yeah, long, long ago. Before they had the before everybody's life was posted up on their stories on Facebook. Back when we all had a good friend named Tom. Tom was Tom was from Switzerland. He was he was a mercenary knight. Tom, uh, yeah, no, think, of course, yeah. No, it wasn't. He just founded MySpace, which is the thing that most people are too young to understand. It's where we all learned uh, the code, code, but we didn't know it was coding. I, I, I appreciate yeah, that dude because he was like, "I made money. I sold. Uh, I sold space. I sold MySpace, and now I'm gone. I'm good. I'm good." Yeah, he was in and out. My oh, you're evil. My brother in Christ. I mean, we all know this beer. Yeah. This is one of my all-time yeah. favorites. Yes, and it is. Now, I, I do not like I, the I don't version know what of it, though. I, I no, don't know what it is. No, I don't. I'm not a big fan of straw. I don't like super fruity beers. Mm. That's Mostly because a lot of times... Okay. Well, okay. Smaller Let, breweries like smaller this. breweries actually use fruit. Yeah. Bigger breweries, when they release theirs, it's a concentrate. Like, I do love Shiner's Lime and Salt beers. Can I say it like this? Yeah. I like it when they can add natural fruity flavors without having to throw fruit into it. Like something like this or like the Juicy. Mm -hmm. It has that fruitiness about it without feeling artificial. Like the biggest problem with the Andy Gator Strawberry is like it kind of feels artificial. Like that's just me. What you you were What you were saying is... If I was part of a secret cabal and I wanted to meet up with the cabal's friends to say things I don't want being said over the internet, I want to hire I'd... the Swiss military. Yes. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, but yeah, Gizmo, if you're still there, Andy Gator is from a local brewery here. Yeah, not it is. Here. Not here. It's, it's not in here, South Louisiana. Here. It's, it's in Abita South Springs, Louisiana. which is in, it's Abita, Louisiana, which is home of the Abita Springs, which means. This is all made with a aquifers water, not yeah. uh, city tap like Monroe. Like all the beers made here in Monroe are made with. Oh God, how much better would Flying Heart's beer be if they didn't use West Monroe's water? Fly, Flying Heart doesn't you do they use West Monroe beer? Or do they actually use? I don't know. Flying Heart's a brand. Like that's a chain. Oh yeah. yes. Well, there's a Flying Heart in Natchitoches. I doubt they use West Monroe water. But well, I didn't know it was a chain. I'm sorry. I thought yeah. it was a local thing. Uh, yeah, you can't go there. I only know because no, there is one in Natchitoches. Like I, I learned that about I learned that about Buff like City soaps because I was just outside of Memphis and found Buff City soaps because I, I heard the only other Buff City soap was in Ruston. Yeah. And I was like, oh, it started in Ruston. No, it didn't. However, their detergent is fucking baller when you get it for ten dollars. I can't read that. If you decompose tricetone tri- into tricetone and smell it, they say it smells like grapefruit. Bonus point if you know what this is and why you want to stay close to the source of the substance. I got uh, no clue, dude. I'm not a chemistry teacher. You're, you're getting too uh, complicated there, are you? Back it up. Okay, okay so I'm, I'm going to say this real quick. Yes, science. Yeah, um, Mr. White. Your comment about being um, being in a cabal and wanting to hire a military, and, and then, then your comment about decomposing substances that are hard to pronounce right afterwards <laughs> makes me feel like we're going to get banned soon, and I need you to not. <laughs> I'm gonna need you to not take my my fun activity of drinking with my friends while on the internet 
away from me. But wait, to, <laughs> to be, be fair, fair, to be fair, these dudes have had several beers. <laughs> look, look. I right, this that off, Gizmo. You know what? You know what? That's a that's a good that's, name that's of this entire episode, like <laughs> entire series. To be frank, these guys have had a couple of beers. These guys have had a few beers. This is yeah. part of it. None yeah, of this us, is. The, the thing is, none of us are bad at this point. Everybody here yeah. can drive. But uh, also, none of us are chemists, so no one knows. Yeah. No one knows what those things are. Okay, so this is a from a beta brewing. It is a Hellas Double Bock or Doppel Bock, eight uh, percent alcohol by volume. Which yeah. means so, it's the highest of the night. Yeah, it's the highest of the night. Uh, it is wait, a wait, wait. But say I was eight. I was on eight. Yeah, I'm on eight. Yeah, mm-hmm. the uh, final resting place is high. Both, both are. We have a double Bock and a double IPA. Both of them were eight. This. Uh, Tell, tell us why you brought this beer. What 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 made you think I want to bring this? Because this is a great beer. So for one, beer is this weird place. Um, beer is not a weird place. Yes, it, yes, it is. It's an enjoyable beverage. Let Finish your thought. Let me explain. So there are beers that I can sit there and I can drink and drink and drink, and before I even feel anything, I'm just gonna be. I just feel bloated and crappy. Mm. And then there are beers that are high gravity and goes, you know what? This makes me feel good. I like this. And I'm not going to regret it in the morning. I like whiskey. Yeah. And so Andy Gator being a high gravity beer, being delicious, mm-hmm. it's just, it's always good when you feel like you need a drink. Yeah. You have that day at work where you just come home and you're like, man, I need a drink. Or you, you come home and have a beer with, you, with your dinner. And just, it's the right one. Yeah. Now, that being said, I was torn because I looked long and hard at getting a Guinness. Guinness yeah. is right up there with it. I do like Guinness. So, <sighs> this... Read what that says, Chris. Oh, oh, well, just just like a scurry black gin filled. That is, oh my gosh. That uh, is not uh, an, a oh, beautiful oh my goodness. walnut. Oh my gosh. is just acetone, iron, and sulfur. Done in a certain order, but yeah, I'll One put hand the typing. Oh, no. on the shelf. <laughs> God, look, Chris, 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 <laughs> okay, Chris. I'm gonna tell you right Chris, now. Chris, if you didn't start laughing, we would have been fine, Chris. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you right now. <laughs> And then no. now I gotta eat trash cheese sandwich. So <laughs> it, it gets worse after having Emily. So we're about to ruin it even more. <laughs> Kyle can tell you I only have two hands on the keyboard. <laughs> so this is my good friend in Canada land. The um the genius I often talk about. She oh. is incredibly smart. Hell yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Seems very smart. It, the, she's she's big using words. us. I don't know. Uh, it's easy to. When she was misspelling everything, it felt like she had had a few drinks. So I, I'm not sure. One hand typing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say well, she was one hand typing, which makes One hand sense. typing. Yeah, we can all throw in that excuse after we've fucked up the entire thing. Well, no, no. Here, here's the deal. It was slightly more understandable, though, at that point. <laughs> I, yeah. I mean, it's just like reading anything Hewitt posts, so. There. So, fun thing After about reading that comment, um, so she has multiple computers set up with multiple keyboards, and she often works on both at the same time while watching Is she like a three cool or four hacker? videos of dope. Yes. Holy shit. Wait, she, do they do montages of her in old 90s she films? She is the hacker, dude. I'm doing this as hard as I can. <laughs> I really hope you can hear it. I can hear it loud and clear. <laughs> But so. she is she is hacker dude. <laughs> she has the power glove and she hacks time. Oh no! Oh, that's cool. Kung Fury is such a great bad movie. <laughs> so, um, so Andy Gator, going back to the beer we oh. we're drinking. Oh, oh, oh! I have to read. Nice little. I have to read the warning. Alligator. Yeah. Oh. Sip. Don't gulp. So they give you drinking directions with this. I'll one. do what I want. So it does have a description on the back. It says, Andy Gator is a fearsome beast. Don't let this toothy grin, slightly sweet flavor, and subtle fruit aroma fool you. This cold-blooded creature is a uh, Hell's Doppelbach, or Hellas? Hellas? Whatever. Hellas. 
uh, that can sneak up on you. The unique high gravity brew is made with a Pilsner malt, a German uh, lager yeast, and a German RL hops. Sip, don't gulp, and taste the wild uh, Vita Andigate. So, the this is a sip uh, sipping beer. You don't you can't pound this back. It's this very is... clean. It's very crisp, and it has very it's sweet, timid, like fruit flavors. Where, whereas this guy here was very fruit forward, and you you tasted it immediately. This guy, you felt the fruit immediately. This one is very. It's just it's there, but it's not aggressive, and that's one of the reasons why. Like I worked at a very fancy restaurant in college, and we had Andy Gator in the giant bottles that we would we would serve with a chilled oh, like glass. Yeah, yeah, and we also served sushi, and it was one of the things I advertised, I promoted so much. Like you're getting sushi, you want an Andy Gator. It's a good a crisp beer. It's great for a palate cleanser, but it has more flavor profile than your Sapporo's or your Japanese beers that you think you want with your with your sushi. Oh no! Guess what? How many drinks have you had? It's it's just good. So if you're thinking about like, hey, I, I want to eat some sushi tonight, and I don't want to, I don't know what alcohol to pair with it. Try Andy. Yeah. Just try it. It's a good pairing. You know what? This okay. One, I'm gonna say this is not my favorite beer of the night. It's not my least okay. It's my least favorite of the night, but that does not make it my least favorite beer. Mm. Like, it's a good beer, but we've had other beers I enjoy more. But the thing I will say with this, it's sneaky. The yes. thing I've always had to acknowledge about Andy Gator is Andy Gator is 100% sneaky. It always, it, it's always been because whenever I drink this, I get slight fruit notes, but for the most part, what I get is slightly toasted caramel. And that's deceptive because it think, makes me think I'm drinking candy. This is Jed's ranking, best to worst. This is slightly scummed, so it doesn't really get a true, true yeah, uh, leg, yeah, in the, leg in the game. But best to worst, and nothing against your beer. Oh, I no. just I like here. What I here like here's it. the thing with the Hefeweizen. It's always going to be something that's like either you love it or you hate it. Like, hey, Giz, switch to Bullet with that Coke. Unless you just really, really like peach liqueur. Which I, do you, can you get bullet barber? Uh, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Southern Comfort also, is... Also, uh, Gizmo, if you if there if there's any American imports that you can find this anywhere, just, I mean, give that a yeah, try. It'll be good. Yeah. I mean, I know that the no, Great Raft isn't going to make it overseas yet. No. Yeah, Abita, I think Abita, Abita is... is Abita's owned by Coors. Yeah, so they might have made their way overseas. They might have, but they tend... Like, I've met so many people in like the northern states who have never had beta betas. You know what? You know what's really, really weird. You know what's really like, weird when you get north of Cairo, Illinois. Yeah, you can find Dixie beer. It it it's weird too because huh. there are beers that are widespread in America that we can't find. Batch yeah. nineteen and Batch third 19. shift, and that that's major. They were they were both so good. Batch nineteen and third shift were so good because we used yeah. to get them. And uh, Coors, the Grand Coors Brewing Company, doesn't distribute like they used to to encourage people to buy online for states that allow online beer purchase, but also yeah. to encourage travel because because we only need to travel when we drink. Well, yeah. Well, here's the deal: it's like all of a sudden I find out that I can't get Batch 19 in Monroe anymore, yeah. but Dallas has Batch 19. So I'm gonna go drive to Dallas, drink Batch 19, and drive back. No, because then we'll stay at a hotel and probably go to Six Flags. Oh, well. Okay, but, you greatly underestimate me not being able to go to an amusement yeah, park yeah. for 15 years. We're going to stay at my aunt's house, drink a whole lot of pickle beer, yeah. along with my Batch 19, and then drive home. That sounds so, like so, a shout out to bad ideas. Aunt um, Poppy, you the best. Okay, so Gizmo or uh, AU or anyone that doesn't live in America, go to your American section on wh wherever you buy beer. Uh, you'll find it underneath the Captain Crunch, the Oreo cakes, yeah, and all just, the stuff they just, say we eat that none of us actually fucking do. Like, we don't eat that shit. No, like, that shit. Captain Crunch cuts I mean, up the roof of your mouth. Like, like, I'll look, go on record. Look, look. I, I, I'm, gonna, I, I'm not going to like mislead people. Southern cooking is bad for you. It, it That's, why it's so That's why it's on, so good. That's why it's so good. Fuck you. Spongebob. 
But it's good for your soul. It's that. amazing for your soul. Southern cooking is bad for your health and your heart. It's great for how you feel about the world around you. Yeah. You, you ever, also, there's some people that would argue soul food's good because it gets you to Jesus quicker. I, <laughs> I, I have woken up sad. Oh. And I, I've woken up upset and depressed and then had a biscuits and gravy and then no longer been sad and depressed. Okay. Has anyone yeah. else had a... Had the grandmother give you happy corn. <laughs> Southern cooking a land of contrast. <laughs> you know what? It actually it really fucking is. is. There's a big difference like, like, between... Look. Okay, look. We cook Southern there. food up here, but if you get Knox on here, or you get Mish on here, or you get Don on here from New Orleans, we're going to have some arguments over what is or is not Southern cooking because some of them don't acknowledge Cajun cooking, is separate from general southern cooking. Uh, and, and let me put this out there. People and that Creole like, and Cajun are separate things. Yeah, yeah, It's yeah, something yeah. people outside our state get messed there up. There are definitions. Right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And people Creoles say, oh, tomatoes. yeah, New York cooking's good. Our, Creoles our, using you know, tomatoes? You eat stuff with tomatoes in it all the time. I, d- I say it's gross because I'm not a huge tomato okay, but fan. Okay, but a full English breakfast, like, that... Okay, to like, be fair, when I, Giz, when I, think Giz, of, Giz, I have one question for you. Why are there all the beans? I'll take the beans. Okay, I'll, look, okay, I'll look. be completely honest. Doesn't it? And to God, I've had beans and toast, and I'm not against it. I also don't want to start my day like that. So I feel like that's a... That's I'm a, pretty like, sure a lot of their like, cuisine is left over from uh, World War II rationing, where they just... Yeah, no. well, well, there's that. Well, there's, so so like, okay, I mean, like, it goes look, back bacon, further than that. I mean, English it's a lot of it is, like, peasant related I will food. put this down there, or and like, I'll, start, I'll start by... England has better bacon than we do. They do. They they really, really do. I actually don't like baked beans. Uh, but then... So, like, that's good. I like British bacon because it's not... Our bacon and Canadian bacon and British bacon are not the same cut of the hog. Okay. So it's a different thing, and it tastes completely different. I love blood sausage and black pudding. So the fact that you give me this savory, iron-filled disc of sausage, I'm down with. And you're giving me toast. Now, I'm not 100% on, like, the tomatoes, because I don't assume tomatoes. Tomatoes aren't a breakfast food to me. Uh-huh. They're They're breakfast but I grew up on goddamn, you know, cinnamon toast crunch. But I, I like, eat and then the baked the baked beans always threw me off for breakfast because I'm like, I know me. If I eat baked beans in the morning, nobody's my friend. Like I'm, you I'm, would you would all disavow me and not acknowledge me. Look, I understand where the full English comes from. It's a me like if you're working in a like industrial age, you're a factory worker. Hold on, yeah. Gizmo, there's absolutely nothing wrong with fried bread. I I would ask you real quick, Gizmo, if uh if you don't like the beans part of the full English breakfast, then mm-hmm. are you just into a partial English breakfast? The half Monty, as you would. <laughs> oh, no, I'm not even saying half, it's just partial, like three fourths of an English breakfast. <laughs> It's just math. It's math. It's not. It's it's not. It's the three. Okay, the three quarter Monty. <laughs> three quarter Monty. Okay, hold on. Hold on. What if we replace? <laughs> hold, hold, hold on. What if we replace the beans? Because you're supposed to put them on the toast, right? What I. If we, what if we replace them with a blueberry marmalade type thing? Well, then you're in the South again. Yeah, I mean that. You're just hitting the South. You're just in the South again. Okay, we, the South is. We sure as heck do make jam. Who's, ma- who's mama's putting tomatoes on the breakfast look, look, plate? But here's the thing: the beans. Basically serve the purpose of like the jello because they're yeah. both very. They have a lot of carbs. They have a lot of sugar in them. Yeah, they, I they get that. But at the, the same jello. time, baked, English baked beans and our baked beans are different. Like we're used to Bush's baked beans, where there's a dog trying to steal shit, like the Cookie Crisp commercials. The British baked beans are Heinz, the ketchup people's baked beans. Okay, so. Hmm. So here's the deal. Neither should be eaten for breakfast. <laughs> so I'm, I'm we, with we, you. We're, 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 none of us are disagreeing about we're this. Here. I mean, you, I'll eat some beans. You for name two do things food. that don't eat when I wake up. So yeah. Okay. But now, I mean, here's the thing: when it comes to the beans for breakfast, we're talking about eating like sausage, bacon. A we're sausage. talking about. Oh no, not just any sausage. We're talking about the creme de la creme of a blood pudding. 
I blood. I mean, come on. Said a you're already English. eating things that are going to make you shit your pants. No, you are not. Blood pudding will not make you shit your pants. You have not seen my pants. <laughs> I don't want to now. Okay, so I'll I'll throw this at y'all with this. So when I went to England. Uh, well, oh wait! Oh, it's both. I forgot what. I forgot where we were there. Regular sausage and black black pudding is delicious. Okay, so we go to England. I'm in a I'm in a high school group of kids post 9/11, 2003, and going to England, and they take us down to the breakfast. Okay, so what do nine of the ten of us think is this breakfast is going to be? Belgian waffles. Well, sweet sugary. Bullshit. Yeah. The, the burn the fuck out of your hand somehow, no matter what you try to do, flip over waffle iron. Yeah. And I go down there, and I'm going like, they're going to give us something different. This is a fancy hotel. There's going to be croissants, or as my roommate Jeffrey would why, say, croissants. Wait, wait, croissants. But why, would, so- why would you go croissant. to an English place and croissant. expect croissant? croissant? Because International was in the hotel's name. <laughs> and then we get down there. I apologize. For my, for my country in this exact moment. Oh, no, no. See, what you need to apologize for our country for is we made the Chris Sandwich. The Chris Sandwich is fucking fire, though. Yeah, but it's a <laughs> bastard. I, okay. <laughs> you know, okay, have you seen the movie, uh, uh, was it, uh, the, the fucking uh, Broken Lizard when they're all beer fest? Yeah. He ended up, he got drunk and accidentally made monkey frogs. I don't know what that is. I can't remember that. Okay, one of the dudes ended up was a geneticist, and he made like a hybrid of monkeys and frogs, and uh, he loved them so much, but they were an abomination to everything. Did you know Walmart has frog legs? No. God, Add salt that. to those and watch them twitch. Um, anyway, no, back, to, not, the, back to the story I was person. telling is we get down there, and all of a sudden, immediately, everybody is weirded out, except me, because there's a whole tower of bread. I don't mean like sliced bread. I mean... Fucking rolls and pumpernickel was one of them. And the other reason they were pumpernickel was is because of Outback Steakhouse. Okay. Oh, I love me some Outback. And Outback doesn't actually make real pumpernickel. What else was there? Okay. Um, there was a whole two level tray of cold cuts ranging from salami to blood sausage. Okay. Uh, there was hot British bacon, hot okay. American bacon, hot sausage, cheeses. That were actually real cheeses, not what we call cheese in America. That's a Velveeta slice. A bunch of fruit. Yeah, shit. That and uh, like a tower of jam, like little jam jars. Yeah. And nobody knew what to do, so I just started making cold cut sandwiches and learned that I love blood sausage. And then everybody started being completely grossed out because, like, they told us it was black pudding, and I was like, okay, cool. I already knew that sausage was a pudding at this point. Yeah. And then they asked our tour guide. Who was like a 50, 60 year old British lady? Yeah. Who literally does not give a fuck no more. Mm-hmm. And they go, uh, Miss Mary, what's what's black pudding? Oh, that's a blood sausage. And I'm sitting there still eating, and I see people just drop it and not want. I'm and they turn and look at me like I am a ghoul feasting upon the dead. If you're grossed out by the idea of eating blood, then just start being a vegetarian now. It's part of all the meat. Like it's it, in there. It's in there. It's part of it somewhere. <clears throat> but but like, I think I do have a have a, a blatant aversion to the idea of calling it anything pudding. I don't care why. Uh, I don't care why you're calling it pudding because in my head, pudding is akin to Jello pudding or pudding pops. And it's a completely different thing. It's not you only a dessert, but it's like, it's sugar, no, it's creamy, no it has that. nothing to do with protein. And so the idea of like, calling it black pudding, I was like, well, that's a weird way to say chocolate. And then you give what? it to me and it's just sausage made with blood. You, and I was can, like, you can thank the well, Romans for this, man. Well, Latin. also, when I hear Stop. black pudding, I think of D&D because I'm a fucking nerd. You are a fucking nerd. Yeah. yeah. On a side note, I can now make black pudding in Valheim. Nice. Oh, uh, part, part before you said in Valheim, Valheim I started pudding. getting excited, and then you said in Valheim. I Technically, like, oh. I could. Yeah, usually, they put what is it? They put. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Gizmo! No, yeah. Gizmo! That one broke some people, and because uh, uh, we went to a fancy restaurant, we went to Avesbury, and then we went to Bath. 
I almost got kicked out of the ruins of Bath because I was uh, I was rude to a French tourist that was rude to everybody else. It's French. It's their culture. I'm an American, I therefore I can claim the exact it. same thing. Sure. Oh, no, 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 no. So we went, after we did all that, and then I spent literally 50 pounds to buy 50 pounds of Cadbury chocolate, I had a backpack full of chocolate. That's why I got detained in the Atlanta airport, because Cadbury chocolate, the, the massive bars, are broken into one-by-one-inch cubes. Or however you, mm -hmm. So when that showed up on the, uh, the x-ray post 9-11, I, I was restrained until they opened up my backpack and realized I was just a fat kid that had bought, like, Fuck ton of chocolate. I, I literally bought 50, 50, really 50 imperial pounds of chocolate. That's very different from when, when my uh, friend kept getting uh, profiled on the way back from Kenya. Because he, we while in Kenya, we all bought like shukas, which are, which are the traditional Maasai robe type mm -hmm. garbs. You have to wrap it around, look kind of like a, uh, a toga. It has lots of plaids to it. You get to look so like a boss ass Jedi? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So we all, we all have these fabrics and these cloths. Everyone put them in their in their suitcases except for one guy. That one guy had also freshly shaved his head before going to Kenya. And so he had a skin head, a skinny white dude coming back in nothing but a, a Maasai uh, Shuka tunic type thing. And he got stopped by every TSA in every single airport. Because you're like, you just look, look like some kind of weird dude on pilgrimage. And we're got questions. We just got questions. Where are you going? Why is it a one way trip? It's because we bought it with cash. But, but it's like it was a whole bunch Can of I like try mess. one of those again because I need I need to have a reference now. I, I don't know. Oh, the bread's getting a little crispy. You're you're about to make a mistake. Anyway, so to, back to the thing about the uh, the chocolate spotted dick. So when we went after we went to all the fancy places. <laughs> As we went to all the fancy places uh, and did the tour, we, we stopped in a at a tavern. Oh wow, it's worse. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Go get that. <laughs> I told you. So oh anyway, God. anyway, like, so it, we, it's we, too mayoly. What the? Why didn't I taste that sooner? Because you've had good stuff since. Oh God! I called that the first time. Are you called on? Are you tasting the oppression in the mayo? And he keeps I'm tasting the poor working conditions in Walmart. <laughs> Does it taste like minimum wage? It tastes like it tastes like commission. The Walton yacht. God damn. The Walton it yacht. It tastes like operating at a at a loss so we can put our competition out of business. Oh. Anyway, so we eat we eat at shots a, fired. Like we that eat one. at a tavern. The tavern was very modern, but we got roasted fowl, which turned out to be quail, which pissed off a lot of people because at first when you heard fowl, everybody was like, we're getting chicken. And then all of a sudden, this tiny ass bird comes out. Why would you think chicken? And then we had asparagus, which like, I'm the only one eating. And then we had mashed potatoes with peas in it. And I was like, you see, this is some, this is some shit I would, I would fucking devour. This is all good. And then they go, yeah. and for That's dessert, awesome. delicious. and for dessert, we have chocolate spotted dick. And I'm over here going, I already know. Chocolate spotted dick is technically like a giant Swiss roll. Yeah. Okay. However, there are two other dudes on the trip with me. And this is 2003. The homophobia is real right ba now. Back in the day when somebody would yell gay as a negative about something that you said and Dane Cook was still funny. Um, Dane Cook. Did I break you with that one? I did not spit my beer, but I came real close. So Dane um, Cook was funny for a, like a year and a half, and that no, was it. In the, no, 90s when it was pudgy, fat Dane Cook. Uh, making, there, there's that the, the Dane the Cook when he was in waiting. Uh, about the, right before he got to be got cast for waiting, and no, 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 just no. after. Yeah, no, no, like no, no. it was it was no, no, gold. No. It, it up until he was in Employee of the Month, where he was a main character. Yeah, no one cared then. He was good as like a line cook in waiting because oh. yeah, there, are, you are you Googling who is Dan Cook? Are you Googling who is Dan Cook? No. Okay, his, <laughs> uh, his, his girlfriend's younger than y'all. Um, and he's 15 years older than me. He knew her when she was born and that makes him creepy now. Anyway, so I, mean, I, I got a, so uh, something that might have to be clicked here in a second. Uh, two other guys did not want their dessert so I got a lot of dick that day. Nice. Clip it. Clip Hell it. yeah. Clip it. He wanted a lot of chocolate spotted dick that day. Look, if you tell, like they get okay. 
One, so the cakes themselves were about that. So what you're saying is you got a load of dick. Yeah, I got a load of dick. You got a load. You, of got, dick. you got so much dick that day. So much chocolate dick. So. <laughs> this is like I'm just gonna put it underneath it when I put it on the outtakes. We are immature, so here's all the dick jokes. There was miles and Hewitt, miles of Hewitt dick in my his, day. Hewitt had his fill of dick that day. You knew what you did when you started doing it, damn it. <laughs> Don't you start talking hey, about Gizmo, what am I doing? Gizmo, it's as bad as y'all calling an eraser a rubber, okay? <laughs> that, look, look. When you're like, yeah, so I need a roll up for this. It's like, I why do you need a condom? You're innocent. Shit. You're character. not innocent. Because Wait, somebody needs a condom. I have to do it. I have to do it because it won't happen this Thursday. You gotta be careful about the brain condom. Gotta be careful about the brain condom. I, I brain broke, condoms. I broke nasal with that. How do you protect from psychic damage? You get a brain condom. You get a brain condom. You get a brain condom. Okay. Yeah, you do. There's days I wish I had one of those because the internet and just people ruin my shit. Same. People in general. If I could come home and take off the brain condom, yeah. it'd be good. And then a little yeah, I gotta rinse it out real good though. See, See yeah. one one day we gotta place. get. get we have to have Gizmo so we can, like, probe his brain on being British. You can't wear a condom that day. You can't wear a condom. You can't, you wear, can't a wear a condom in Britain. <laughs> you can't wear a condom that day, Gizmo. No, no condoms. <laughs> Just a raw dog in your brain over here. Get used to it. We're all going to hell. We're all going to hell. Get my workout in. Bro, I'm just shy of 20,000 steps right now. <laughs> God, I wish I could get that many steps. In no, you want to know why I have that many steps? How? Huh. Before he showed up, I was tech support at the school. <laughs> what is that? What is that letter? Uh, he, had, hey. he has a quest for us. But only three of us. <laughs> so before he arrived, I was tech support. I was there at 730. He's like, yeah, I was there at 645, and I was tech support. He just waited. Me no, 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 no. Do you know what my tech support was? No. Um, click add code and then type the code they gave you. Oh. Literally read the instructions. Yes. Um, one of the... I had that code memorized. Oh, no, it was the code for the test, specifically. Any case, so that happened, and then a lot of the hall monitors for testing did not show up, so I had two floors. So I was hustling. I'm not counting. I don't know. It doesn't tell me what steps do on my, my step counter. Um, and uh, I didn't, I didn't, the pedometer I have. My, my pedometer tracks steps, not not uh, stairs. Okay, this is what mine does. Yeah, mine tracks where I'm moving during the day, but it does not track if I'm mm. going up or down stairs because I went up and down flights of stairs multiple times. So, uh, oh yeah, I, that's gonna. To work be out. fair, I'm gonna go take some extra steps because I have just pumped myself full of freaking cheese, which is definitely I got 700 steps to get twenty thousand. Good. Go throw that away. I don't buy I ain't getting up right now. I'm afraid things will shift and I'll have to poop. <sighs> you hear that internet? He might have to poop. Eventually. Actually, you know what? We need a lot of cheese. It probably won't happen. Mm. Or it might. You never know. I'm afraid of that. It could or could. We have, we've had, in the past couple of days, a lot of, of uh, beer has been consumed. Yeah. Yeah, I actually did the math on the weekend. I didn't drink ten beers out of that ice chest. I, I mean, I probably fucked some up. Yeah, know. yeah. I, I'm starting to wonder if people should have driven home after the cookout. Hey, how's your tattoo doing? It's still good. I got a tattoo, yo. Yeah. I'm sorry. Now you, you just gotta get all it? your children's Elden Ring names. Yeah. Oh no. Uh, no. I'm well, name, it seems like I'm gonna a name quick my list least wrap favorite. It up, Jed, Jed's not here. Oh, Jed! I'm gonna name my Jed, least go favorite by? son Godric. Why would you do that? Because he's the least favorite. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's wrong. You don't have a. Ah, thank you, Gizmo. So, while well, we're talking about Elden Ring, I actually picked up a mod for Elden Ring called the. Uh, I think it's called the Co-op mod. And oh, the seamless one? Yeah, seamless co-op. That's what it is. Yeah. It's been pretty fantastic. I'm just trying. I wish my friends were on more so we can actually play together. Yeah. But uh, speaking of being on more, I actually got Last Epoch, and I've been playing it. Yeah. Uh, voice acting is bad. Well, yeah. Gameplay is really good. I told you. 
Like, I do like the fact that it feels a lot like, uh... Diablo 2? It, it, it kind of has, like, that marriage of, like, Diablo 2 and Path of Exile, where it's, yeah. like, you're not, like, overburdened with, like, so many different, like, things. Options like, and whatnot. <clears throat> but there's enough there to make uh, your build your own. Mm. That's so, interesting stuff. Uh... On this note, we're talking about games. I know you're a little tired of Ghost Game, but now that we got, like, Nox able to play it, they're about to start dropping some really fun stuff. Because there's, like, old school thermometers. There is uh, jars of salt instead of, like, the shaker. I think they're setting it up so you can do, like, an 1800s hunt. Th th they also have multiple cross types. Wooden cross, metal cross, fancy, fancy cross. They also have an incense... Uh, uh, or not, not a decanter, uh, uh sense sensor, yes, the fancy Catholic ball that shoots out smoke. I was say the Catholic thing that, that has this, this the, ca the Catholic, the, the one that like all of us are looking at it going, that that'd Catholic be a sweet ass boy. anime weapon against ghosts. No, I'm just the, the big Catholic boy who goes around like this. It's the thing that smelled funny, shoots out the smoke, Catholic school, the doll. yeah. But then you know, you always wanted the dude to like bust out ninja moves and like, bust out the ninja moves, huh? Put your dick up, son. That's how you get the. Oh God, that's how you get the cat sizzle. <laughs> that's how you get the cat sizzle. Put your dick up, son. The father's in. Take the cat. No, no, we gotta stop. We gotta stop. Put your dick up, son. This is the confessional. <laughs> oh, okay. And you did it anyway. I know, because I have to be the one that breaks the chain. Every sperm is great. Does anyone else know this song? We've had a few drinks. Oh, we're, uh... I don't think it's enough for this. It's not. No, but he started singing Monty Python, and I actually legitimately love that song because it's ridiculous. Because you have a bunch of, uh, Ulster women uh, come out doing the can-can uh, while John, singing about Don't Jack Off. John Cleese just needs to, uh, get off Twitter. Dude, you do not look at what a 70-year-old Brit posts on shit. He's like 98, okay? Everyone needs to get off Twitter. That is true. That's true. Yeah. Hashtag Mastodon for life. No one likes Mastodon either. I don't even know if Mastodon's a thing still. Fuck, what? No, that people is? are talking about Blue Sky now. Oh. I'm also thinking of a metal band. Mastodon is a good metal band. Like, legit. Like, if you, you know think of, band. like, Crack the Sky or uh, Blood Mountain... Really good out. So, okay, so you know that there are two bands known as the Hammer of God, right? Yeah, sure. There are two bands known as the Hammer of God. There's the, like the actual black metal band Hammer of God that like did some neo pagan stuff for a little while. I think it would be black metal. Uh, but then there's the Christian metal band. I feel like that's racist. God's Hammer that people kept confusing for Hammer of God, including myself when I bought a CD and I was God is good. I'm like, oh my god, what the fuck did I buy? <laughs> Okay, you say, like, it's racist to call it black metal. Ironically, it's a bunch of white supremacists usually doing black metal. I, I ironically weird, huh? say that it's racist to call it black metal because I say, why is it going to be black blank every time someone says it's black? So someone can say, hey, there's a black bird outside. Why is it going to be a black bird? Why, why can't it just be a bird bird? Why can't it be a Actually, bird? it's ultraviolet bird. Are you, why is it got to be a bird? Why can't it be a bird? Exactly. True. Well, I'm just saying when we Bird. apply in colors to this shit, when it don't need to be applied colors too. It's That's because true. we don't never trust white birds. Because they show in the car. I don't. I, I, I'm pretty sure red birds and blue birds do that too. No, but not not as not as grumpily as doves and as pigeons. I'm just trying to think of what pigeons white birds were. They don't count. Dove pigeons, and I'm like, all right, sure. Oh no, I was I listened to one of the outtake videos. Egrets are also white birds. The, the are, last, are you saying the, that the, the Bible is racist now? Because the doves are the good birds. It's not good they shit on everything. Bruh, it is a book written by humans. <laughs> immediately, let's not go there. It is a book written by humans. I, I have to say no more. I have to say are no we? more. It's a book written by humans. Are there, is there issues in there? What did this turn into? <laughs> oh. It's a freaking beer. This is about beer and cheese sandwiches. Nothing else, nothing more. <laughs> Beer and cheese sandwiches. Stop it. 
Oh, we gotta talk okay. about racism now. See, the thing, no, I, was, no. the thing I was... Can I throw was, stuff at you? Like, you're... The oh, thing, throw look, the thing you're was, within five feet, the, so the I'm gonna thing, get disadvantaged, but I'm gonna throw everything going, I can. The thing I was gonna say is, just the other day, Outtakes 21 hit, and my wife ranting about pigeons is one of the outtakes. She says they're just... Or, sorry, doves. Doves are just bougie pigeons. They're not smarter. Someone said they're prettier. They get in front of my car, and I have to behave right, or else I'm gonna feel bad. Doves, doves are clean pigeons. That's all. They're clean pigeons. Actually, pigeons are in and of themselves are pretty clean. The dumbest fuck though. They dumb as hell. Yeah. The the um. What's that, what's the, part, what's that fancy likes. word that I can't think of? Smart girl, come back. Tell me what word I'm trying to think of. Um. <laughs> There are particular thoughts that come to mind when I think pigeon that are never clean. You think of dirty, dirty big cities. <laughs> Pigeons would shit, or, or would be shit in John Woo films. That's true. Uh-huh. But let's let's break this down. One, pigeons are dumb. Pigeons sure. would not survive without humans. No. Well, I mean, pigeons. they're surviving right now without humans. No, I've seen a I've seen a full grown, completely there pigeon, just get punted because it stayed in the street while people were walking past it. Pigeons, Thanks, New Orleans. Pigeons, what the way pigeons are now, doves would, they would down digivolve into pigeons after humans are gone. Pigeons themselves would die off because pigeons have become symbiotic almost parasitic on large human societies. You don't see pigeons between big cities all that often. You like you do not see a pigeon in Allah. That like being that, said. You do not see a pigeon in Allah, but you see them in Monroe and you see them in New Orleans. Where does squab come from? Squab is a wild pigeon. Oh, wild where? I don't know, because it's not here. It's in Europe, I'm assuming. Did they find it in the field? No, no, no. Hold on. Do we have squabs in, in the UK? Actually, that might be a good question. I might be full of shit on this one, but no. What were you saying, though? I was just saying, pigeons would survive for a good long while after uh, humans. House cats. House cats get out of our houses. Pigeons are easy food. As yeah. someone who's been to New York in the past couple of months, I have seen a pigeon eat a New York-sized rat. Like just walk up and just like I'm gonna end your life, and the rats you like could bring it at me, and it was a nasty knife fight. You know it's a cool bird. I wouldn't be surprised if they, they both pull out knives. Like, uh, okay, to be fair, that's, <laughs> but it's New okay, York. Okay, okay New you York. just mentioned the subspecies that's off to the side because if anything, including humans, are from New York, they're not the same as humans that are not from outside of New York. Any creature that lives within that city has evolved for that specific Man. environment. Like, so what I'll, you're saying I'll, I'll is New York has dire rats and dire pigeons. Like, I always yes. thought, okay. like, Alligators. you know, people would exaggerate the size of rats in New York City mm-hmm. until I saw one running in an airport in New York, and I was like, that, that's a dog. That's a dog. <laughs> that's a dog. <laughs> oh, by the way, keep an eye out for the super fat-ass squirrel. I'm looking out my back window the other day into the backyard and go, is that a rabbit? Oh fuck! I'm about it's to It's like nutria it. in here, like running around. So I see they this, eat my damn blueberries. I see this thing I'm sitting in, sitting in my yard, while the crows eat off of the bird feeder. Because I got one crow that's Randy the Macho Crow, because he suplexed wait, this wait, said wait, crow. Crows? Wait, is it a crow or is it a raven? That's no, no, raven. They're not big enough to be ravens. Okay. Also, and um, what if ravens, train ravens only travel in pairs. Ravens, always, ravens are most. There's not a lot of ravens there. It's crows because of all the cornfields. But I watched it suplex a squirrel off of it. Like it came in, squirrel's like sup. Crow bites its neck and bum bum up bum just does a backflip and drops it you off. Don't, you don't pump the corvids, man. So, I, but no, this thing is so damn fat. Like I'm looking out the backyard. Is that a small rabbit? Like, because here's the deal: if a rabbit pops up between either of our yards, yeah, we got to kill it. Sorry, internet, but we both garden, and I have like I'm trying to actually grow corn and squash in a large amount for my family. If there is a rabbit, you're fucking with my stuff. We have a whole family of rabbits, which is why my wife never actually grows anything in her little garden. So I mean, like, it, it's one of those. There little, were babies. I want, I like, want to. Uh, uh, like, okay, now it's cute. Like, it's cute. Okay, little delicious. 
if, if there was a if there was a baby like if I found baby rabbits in my backyard, it's like shit. Now I can't kill the rabbit because I feel bad. But like, if we can no, eat venison, I can eat baby rabbits. I don't give a shit. So all of a sudden, the squirrel picks up his head. I'm like, that is a fat ass squirrel. Sorry. Veal is super delicious, but I've only eaten it once because it's super unethical. We can eat veal. I can eat baby rabbits. Shut up. You don't make rabbit nuggets, dude. Mm. Veal. Rabbit starvation. Mm. Rabbit stew. Delicious. No. Uh, this, is, this is going down. Like, I thought I made a bad joke, and then, like, this is just going darker uh, down the animal trail. Can I, I, can I just talk about one of the coolest birds? Yeah. Yes. Uh, the raven. Because they're assholes. Oh, no, I love ravens. <laughs> ravens are my boys. Yeah, they, they can mock you because they can mimic speech. They'll yeah. steal shit. They'll steal shit. They'll poke at you. And they'll just be around and just be annoying. They them are... birds, I love them. I, I've recently stumbled onto the uh, a, a, a section of TikTok where people are training ravens and crows to like bring stuff back to them. And like they have... They've named them, and they'll, they're like, the birds will bring back shiny objects that they think humans like, and they get food. And so the birds are like, this is easy. I'm picking up trash. And the humans are like, that bitch brought me a quarter for a seed. This is awesome. And <laughs> no, so, like, I'm it's just... the funniest section of TikTok where <laughs> each animal thinks they're training the other one, and the one's... Right, here's the deal. I got a, like, four foot by six inch wide piece of corrugated metal. That's left over from my uh, building my uh, uh, whatever that patio cover in the backyard is that I mostly still use as a shed. Uh, I'm tempted to use that leftover metal and some pressure treated wood and build a crow offery. So that they will Get one up. leave uh, leave off my uh, leave my strawberries uh, alone. Yeah. Which you saw how many strawberries we had in there. My yeah. child ate half of them. Which by the way, the strawberries in there are from the garden. Uh, sorry, I was upstairs doing the food. Breakfast food at input has been sent to a vi in a video format. Yeah, she sent it to me, and I can't pull food it up. Discord's great, <laughs> isn't it? I love Discord. Anyway, I'm, wanna... I'm tempted. I'm tempted to do that mostly because. Uh, just want to see what they bring. Yeah, I want to see. At the same time, I don't want to be attempted for making a gang of crows to steal money. I'm okay with that. The murder of crows ain't gonna go. You need ravens. Yeah, no, crows will do it too. Crows, if crows are smart enough to understand the barter, is it is it a multitude of ravens called a, an unkindness? No, no, ravens are a murder. Crows are technically a murder. Uh, now, uh, one of them was unkind. Raven, ravens don't travel in packs; they travel in pairs. Pairs. Okay, crows are a murder. Okay. A At hard. the same time, Emily has told me I'm not allowed to get a raven because I would name it Hoogan. Or is it's it a good name? Because it's Hoogan and or no, it's Hoonan, it's Hoonan and Mugen. <laughs> anyway, I name it after the one that's wisdom, uh, and I would teach it to say shit that no one needs to hear. Like uh, one of my favorite things is there was a TikTok of a raven. It came into somebody's window and said, "Hanged man's coming." One of Odin's nicknames is Hanged Man, and here and it's a uh, it's this big buff pagan uh, marine. Like talking when I say buff. Dude don't have no neck. It's just delto ears, deltoids, and shoulders. He goes, I don't know what you did, but you done pissed him off, so maybe make it right. And then just goes off with a drink going, ha-cha-cha-cha-cha. And I'm like, there's some parts of the internet that I absolutely love because this shit has me laughing. Also, do whatever you got to do to make that thing not hate you and make sure the hangman doesn't show up. Because if I know one thing about Odin from any of the stories. Yeah. If he shows up, it's a bad fucking day. Every crow and or raven I was able to teach words to, we're just going to shill out a bunch of cuss words while they steal your stuff. They'd be grabbing the quarter that you just dropped, being like, suck it, bitch, and then gone. And that's the funny part to me. Emily thinks I would teach it to say nevermore, and I'd be like, no, I teach that raven the telltale heart. <sighs> Or the, the thing that I can never... That's a good, the, That's a good the, point. The, the thing that I would not do is teach a raven any Hemingway because my wife absolutely hates Hemingway. I, I'm surprised she hasn't yelled something because I said Hemingway's you should, name. You should teach the raven a bunch of Robert Frost. Robert Frost is good. I got Robert I'm not, Fro I'm not 
I'm not downplaying Robert Frost. I'm just saying two teams with Robert Frost. No, no, I like Robert Frost. They're gonna think. They're gonna think. Oh, it's gonna be Edgar Allan Poe, and then no, Robert Frost. Or Teacher Raven the dude Did, ode to a haggis. I, I want to teach a Raven a bunch of drill tweets. Is that something I only get? It probably is. Yeah. Drill tweets. You know, just teach a Raven a bunch of homestuck memes so that somebody the years from now doesn't know what the fuck because it. That Raven will teach other Raven homestuck memes. You say homestuck, and my brain goes homestuck. What's Homestuck? Homestuck uh, is Homestuck worse. Homestuck is... Oh, no, dude. Like, Homestuck was an interesting experiment somebody did. It was like an interactive comic. But the fans of that went feral. And this is the reason I don't do fandoms. Like, I like Has Been Hotel and Hell of a Boss. There are fans super pissed that their headcanon as this thing is... Like, because uh, the problem with both of those animated series is people are following them live as they're being made. Yeah. So they make their own headcanon. And they felt their head canon is as legitimate as the actual show. And when the actual show goes a different direction, a direct, they different get direction, upset. they uh, they, they have big they, they get big feelings. And see, I, and my brain went straight mid to early nineties. Homestarrunner.net. It's dot com. Um, and that's just a bunch of like stupid. I miss. I miss that. Like, strong you bad, can, strong you can sad, the strong mad. <laughs> that they moved it onto YouTube because the whole thing was Flash animated. Yeah. And it's not supported anymore, but... It, like, the Flash it animated stuff Flash. was the best just because you had to go to their website to see the things. And then... Man. Strong bad emails. Because, here's the deal. At the, at, yeah, that's going to be my... Sc- I'm gonna, you, okay, look. I'm I very tempted to make Trogdor my, my scarecrow for my garden. And Gizmo, Good. if you're yeah. still here, you could probably answer this. Uh, what happened to all the stuff, like old school like stuff on Newgrounds? Like, you know, the old school Newgrounds stuff that was like all Flash animation? Did that, that just disappear today? Newgrounds is almost like DeviantArt now. Yeah, you're well. That's a good question. Newgrounds, Newgrounds very much became like deviant art. It's a lot of stills now. Um, Yeah, but like what happened to their old archive? So you can still access it. You gotta have a plugin. Yeah, Uh, I think it's called Supernova. Okay. And it it has this weird way of running Flash programs inside its own. It's it's like a. um, Is it backdooring it? No, no, no. It basically (laughs) launches like a computer within a computer <laughs> but it's a browser um a digital machine uh, someone says backdoor and you have the creepiest little sixth grade <laughs> laugh <laughs> no 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 like, what's, what's great is like he's over there giggling like fucking like he's fucking Captain Boomerang <laughs> but no they converted what they could and then all the rest was you have to access it through Supernova okay so that I mean it, it, I'm glad it's preserved is the thing they, they tried it's not lost not completely. There's a lot Bunch of people out there that shit. are uh, trying play. to preserve things. Um, big shout out to Cursing Farm. He does a lot of work preserving old uh, 90s games. Getting him to run, were... writing up how it does. He also does Mind of Friedman. Because there's like so many fucking... Which is a fantastic there's... YouTube series, by the way. There's like so many good games out there that were just on new grounds that like people just made with Flash animation. And it's like, what the fuck happened to that? Like, what is it? Uh, stick something? Super stick? Yeah. Well, there's also the very first Castle Defense game that was all stick figures, too. Yeah. Uh, the first Pandemic game was uh, was a Flash game as well. Wow, we're old. Yeah, we're, we're pretty old, yeah. They actually have a game on Steam now. Yeah, I know. I, I, I have it, but... nothing. It's, it's Nothing beats the original the first time hmm. you play it. I mean, like, you had to start, time. like, it's one of those games where it's, like, so poorly you balanced, know, you like have to start in Madagascar time. in order to actually win the game. Well, but, yeah, because somebody sneezes across the world, Madagascar goes, shut down the border. Yeah. Shut everything down. Like, no, that was some God world. Fuck! Um... There's also, uh, it's, That's it's either just abandonware.com or my abandonware. <laughs> just God um, rolled fuck. <laughs> no, it's like God rolled and then in large uh, letters. Replying to the food. And it, it's just a, just, an, just a stick figure going, ah! Seem to be playing cop, uh, yeah, brown the, breakfast yeah. sausage in the form of a hamburger or a barbecue griddle, a piece of jack cheese. That's good. 
and uh, thinly sliced onions, French toast, and cinnamon. Or French toast with cinnamon. I cannot read. Two fried Louisiana. eggs. In butter. And <laughs> tomato <laughs> slices fried. fried. Oh my goodness. Okay, here's Simbled the deal. French toast, sausage patty, egg, tomato, eggs, French toast. Sorry for the late reply. Dang, that's a solid breakfast. Fair play. Ooh, okay, so okay, hold on, hold on. Let me ask you. When, going back to the older conversation, talking about the British breakfast. Time out. Just, it doesn't work. Just, Time they, out. Yeah. Before he says any of this, on that sandwich, did you have powdered sugar and or syrup? Because if not, why, why? not? Maple syrup. Maple syrup. Ma- well, of course maple syrup. The other fuck kind of other syrup. <laughs> Can't think of Str- cane syrup. Struggle syrup. Also, cane syrup, not bad, though, if you put it on boudin. I thought we were talking about canes, and I got like a flat. What have maple syrup? Cakes. We can hang out. You, me, <laughs> hang out. We can we can hang out and get fat together. I'm good with that. But here's the deal. Going back to the British breakfast, where they give you cold ass raw tomatoes, <laughs> versus a fried tomato being on your breakfast sandwich. <laughs> I'm sorry. I this like a cold me. ass tomato. Uh, oh, oh, which one's better at breakfast? A fried this tomato is... or cold ass raw tomatoes? Can, can, can I? Can I? The connotation of the statement of cold ass raw tomato, not not a freshly sliced tomato on your plate, but a cold ass yeah, raw tomato. He, he, Why gotta be cold, cold ass raw tomato? I can't just be a raw tomato. I can't just be tomato. Because they just oh, look. Here's the deal. British breakfasts give you like a whole cherry tomato out the fridge. Can I, can I say this right now? Yes. No. Yes. Uh, despite the fact that you colored this as if, like, a fresh tomato is bad, uh, fuck you for that. <laughs> Thank you. Exactly. <laughs> you have a garden, but tomatoes bad. Got it. <laughs> Understood. I grow tomatoes for my child. I don't eat them. I will sick I, all the bunnies on your tomatoes. I will do you, literally do have you, to commit rabbit murder. Do, uh, okay, and Gizmo, maybe you can answer this. Can you lightly salt the tomatoes? I yeah. do think they season them. I think that's a thing. With big yeah, flaky salt. That, that I'm depends. Down. Has it been fried on a griddle? No, no, no. I'm asking no, which. Fresh, no, no, I'm saying. Fresh, what, I'm fresh asking you personally. Personally, garden your flavor? slice plate. What would you prefer? Salt the fried, the fried tomato, or the fresh, uncooked fresh. tomato? Fresh. With the salt and pepper, fresh. Is the tomato green? No. Oh yeah, the fresh. Yeah. Okay. Now my fresh. my follow up question. Full size tomato with slices, or like a whole tiny cherry tomato. Oh. I almost well, choked the, on I was hoping you were going to say so or okay, heirloom. Now, and I was like heirloom. Now, now with no. the, now, again with the cherry tomatoes, we have the option of them being cold, raw ass tomatoes, or we can blister them slightly on a grill. Yes. Uh, <laughs> if we're doing I would, this, if, we're, if we're doing, uh, I just love how I'm like making tomato games. If you're, if you're, uh, let's say we're building a plate, right? Let's say we're building a plate. I don't want one thing on the plate to be cold from the fridge and the rest of it to be warm or that's, hot. That's the thing I'm getting at with the British I, I want it all to be around the same temperature because if I go from like hot toast and beans and, and eggs and, and, then, and then sausage, whether it be blood, pudding, or regular, whatever, sausage, and then cold tomato... I'm gonna think the chef fucked up, but if well, yeah. if if it was if it was even room temperature, I would be more okay with it. Okay, now here's the deal. She made a sandwich. The fried tomato on the sandwich sounds better to me, with the context of everything else is built with. Yeah. Than if we were to put a cold tomato slice on it. Yeah. By the way, though, the cold tomato slice still wouldn't be that bad because it probably would be warmed up by everything else that is put in. Eventually. Yeah. So it's a texture issue, I think. Can I say this? Yeah. No. And in the context of a sand, like you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to say it in the context of sandwich because I'm going to be say it anyway. <laughs> for like, the if sa- we're talking about for a the meal, sandwich rights. <laughs> if we're talking about a fucking meal here, fucking meal, fucking meal. Oh shit. If we're talking about a breakfast, we're Get talking about a, bu- a bunch of whole we're foods. So like, the, here's the thing. If we're talking about, I got bacon, I got sausage, I got beans, I got then toast. And I got some veggies in the form of fresh tomatoes. Uh huh. Not not the cold ass raw tomatoes. Not cold ass raw tomatoes. Fresh tomatoes. I love the disparity and the contrast between 
my hot foods and my cold foods. I actually like putting some fruit in there. But but the the but the fresh tomatoes and not cold ass tomatoes. To be fair, cold ass raw. Sorry, cold <laughs> ass raw tomatoes, which just came out the <laughs> fridge. The, the, which just came out the fridge could have been defrosted before. I don't know. Um, but fresh <laughs> are not cold, and that's what I'm getting at. Like I don't want it to be. I don't want to go like, hmm, that's some good hot sausage is like, like okay, sizzling okay. still, so asking, and then straight cold like. Let ice. me ask you this: Are you asking for hot tomato? Or are you asking for room temperature tomato? You know what? The room temperature is fine. <laughs> room temperature is fine. Room so temp. like, if they just pulled this tomato straight out the fridge and threw it like, on the plate, I'm like, just saying it's, it's, it's like. like it's tomato, like 60 it to 80 better. degrees outside, and no, I want no, you to no, no. See, see, pick the tomato, see, watch that's, the tomato, that's, that's, that's cut the fresh, tomato, and that's the fresh tomato. That's fresh Don't. tomato. Not cold ass tomato is the chef walks into the fridge, grabs this little bunch of grape tomatoes, and just goes, fuck you, and throws them on a plate, and they're still cold from the Half fridge. Half of them bounce onto the floor, and he picks them back up and puts them on there, because it's not going to change the flavor. You're going to assume that yeah. little bit of hair might be saffron. So, <laughs> make this argument crazy. Ooh. What if it's Mexican breakfast? I love fried tomato wedges. Tomatoes don't go in a fruit salad, but they go in a salsa, and salsa goes on eggs, which is in a Mexican breakfast, and therefore I'm down. Salsa is a fruit salad. <laughs> yes. Okay. It's You're a Mexican fruit salad. I'm the bard. Tis a bard. Tis a bard. No, but like. Let's switch countries real quick. Stop talking about England, which we know very little about. And let's go to Mexico, which we know less about. No, 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 no. Let, we know Tex-Mex. Yeah, we do. That's We know we Tex-Mex. That's, that's fair. Know, oh, is actually okay. not that big a thing in, in Mexico. Yeah. What, what? Yeah, it's... it's. What's that big a thing? Cumin. Yeah. That's At like the, the same main time, ingredient. The thing that's really funny is Oaxaca cheese is not that different from mozzarella. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, it's a little bit saltier, but it that's is. not it. But okay, so let's say a Tex Mex breakfast. Okay, let's let's say something I, I I'll make on a daily basis. Which <laughs> you have yes, spoken catch, for catch, making knowledge. Ketchup is technically a smoothie. <laughs> Thank you. I can now I can now you know I can justify my weird habit of just squeezing a tube of ketchup in my mouth. Cut scene to me shoving uh, just squeezing ketchup. Into a fruit smoothie, they're like, it's all fruit, it's good. He just made a V8. I mean, t- fuck. Kids will be kids will be happy about that one. Um, hold on, hold on. Please tell me someone else has been the fat kid with a mouthful of fries squirting the ketchup packet in there on top of them. No, I haven't uh-huh. done that. No, shit. No, okay, no. I'm shit. Uh, yeah, drink, drink, drink. Go get it. All right, drink. so um, Mexican. It's too far away. Mexican breakfast. I'm down. I'm Mexican down for all breakfast. of it. I've I've had I want to know. I've had a lot of different breakfasts that, that claim Latin or Mexican um, traditions. Oh, on this note, have you been to Alex's in West Monroe, the Honduran restaurant? Okay, it's over there. Near Why the, is it named after a white man? I don't know, I but it's doesn't have to be a white man's name. It could be a white lady. It could okay. be. It could be Alejandro, but there would be a J. It could be short for Alejandro. Of course. No, no, it could that, be Alejandro. That'd, be, that'd be Alex, but the, there'd be a J. But you would, think, you would think they would go with the whole name. It would be a shorthand Mexican name. No. Somehow, Alexandria. Okay, wait. I get, I... Everything comes with fried plantains, which I'm not a huge plantain fan. <sighs> so my wife got her plantains. Okay. And my plantains. And that made the pregnant lady happy. Okay, I'm going to say this now. I was looking for other, like, breakfast around the world. He and one of the Alex first Alex things Alex. that came up so was. was Australia and it's fucking Vegemite. Like, no. how how do you fucking make it worse than Britain, Australia? They just oh, threw... you made them get up to go get another beer. Look, look, look. I'm going to give Australia well, actually, every pass you know in the world because everything in Australia is ca- trying to kill you. Like so they every, eat Vegemite? Come you, on. You eat what you have to eat when everything's trying to kill you. Just eat a blue ring octopus. I don't know. You wake up and there's like 10 foot python in Bitch, your room. You, don't, you do not you get don't, to eat. You just eat what you got to eat and you move along. To be you fair, the British, get, the you do not old get English the first breakfast, get, you do not get I want more. Uh, takiyaki. I just, I just give them a pass on everything. Like... No, don't get a contis- consistent. The more Australian pass. it is, 
Look, to the to the person that said they ate just enough Vegemite to get away with it legitimately, I lived in a dorm room with four other college-age dudes that did dumb things, and I was the Mikey. Yep. Okay, one, Jaeger's a hell of a drink. <laughs> Jaeger's a hell of a drink. Uh, oh. you, you used to get enough Jaeger and Hewitt that uh, he was the Mikey of, Hey, Hewitt, what's this? I don't know. Eat it. My, my friends and I used to, well, you know, Jaeger bombs, which is like a shot of Jaeger and a, a small Red Bull. A Red Bull for no reason. Small Red Bull, shot of Jaeger, mix it, take it. My friends and I used to get the giant 32-ounce Cane's cup, fill it with with Red Bull and then Jaeger. And just, that was a sip and drink for the night. Yo, yo, we were not we healthy. Issues. Food, we back had to food, issues. back to food, not yo, bad yo, that yo. So, it's, it's nights like this that made me try one of the worst combinations I've ever had in my life. We got it from a comedian. I'm not sure why the comedian said you should try this. But, uh... <laughs> But gin and chocolate milk. No. No, wait, wait, wait. Don't wait, do it. Wait, wait. Don't do it. That's Everyone like, knows that we sent convicts to Australia, but most don't know that we they were sent there all convicted for liking Vegemite. <laughs> Look, just be glad it's not Marmite. Anyway, Eastern Africa at Mandazi, it's just beignets. It's just beignets. They That's just beignets. have fucking beignets. That's been. It's got the powdered sugar and everything. It's a fucking beignet. Powdered sugar Every, and everything. Hey, look. Okay, so there's a meme out there that's been circulating recently about humanity. First off, there are three things that all of, or sorry, four things that all of you, all humans have figured out how to make. First off, is we figure out how to fry dough. Every last one of us have a version of a donut. Two. Every last one of us have a version of meat on a stick. Yep. Be it hot dogs. Kebabs, whatever, meat on a stick. Next is a sword, and the last one's alcohol. So there is one. There are four things that unite us, and one of which is how to murder another one of us because you stole our beer and our kebab. And another one's how to get drunk. No, no, we made the sword because someone stole our kebabs and beers. Yes, yeah, that's true. And our I mean, donuts. That's probably true. Yeah, you don't want to be eating Vegemite, but spoonful like in my family. Bad time. You're gonna have a bad time. That's right. because Vegemite is literally like if you took vegetable oil and made a peanut butter spread from it. Ugh. It is, if I'm not wrong, it is a vegetable spread. It is like I know it's like a byproduct. So I'm, I'm jumping better. to something more insane, but better than Vegemite that I think it might be fun to try on uh, on stream. No shit. We should try to make some uh, pim uh, pimmican. What is? Oh, huh? Explain yourself. What uh, so. Is this? It's it's a very shelf stable beef jerk. So you take meat, super dry, grind it up to like a powder. You can mix mix in some like um, veggies and not veggies, uh, like berries for flavor, and then add in a bunch of tallow. You mix it up, freeze it, bam, there you go, pemmican. So you it's basically spread. yes, you but you eat it like a bar. It's, a, it's going to be like a jelly type texture, or like a no. It's, it's going to be hard, hard like a bar. No, this. So if it's you like let a it, popsicle. If you let, if you let it get warm, yes. If not, what you're making is what a lot of, like. There's one dude who uh, does a bunch of RPG stuff, and he actually tried. It is like a matcha nutrient paste, though. So. Yeah. It, what he, he's done a couple things like. Well, that's how why you add the berries make is to get travel flavor, rations because yeah. the meat and fat combo just tastes like nothing. And a lot of people told him, said make. Uh, Permican or make hardtack and permican together, and the problem is, he's like, I prefer to eat something that is a travel ration that meets the standards of what's in the book that will not make me want to vomit and or shit myself. Well, too bad. Too bad. Get on it. I just think it might be fun to make on stream. Suck it up. Yeah, it wouldn't be bad. Also, one of the things since we do brouhaha, I think at some point we do have to start experimenting with really fun teas. Mm. That would fit the name. Would fit the name. We all have to, okay. When winter comes, after the baby's big enough for me to start filming in the house again, we'll all put on sweaters and have tea and watch something. I'll have tea. Talking about real life. I don't know about sweaters. Not Rimworld. Rimworld. We're not, we're not gonna go that route. <laughs> no. I don't know anything about Rimworld. Cannibalism. You do what you have to to survive. Your pawns won't be happy, but they don't matter. Look at the head. Look at the head. Yeah, you like that head, oh. don't you? Ah, uh, you like tickling the head? 
Well, after I had Miles a it, dick that one day, <laughs> yeah, I guess so. And hit so much dick, you had to suck down that head. Yeah, you, you gotta play with the head after you, you know, have so much dick. It's left you start spots. with the head and then you move to the dick. That's true. That's true. It's you gotta, it's a doll. You gotta work your way there. In the end. Well, you, you know. You gotta be proper. You gotta, you, you, you gotta work up to the rest of the deck, you know. There's no clipping any of this. this no, is, no, this we've not, no, we've already gone too far with this. Uncool. Also, you, you, you gotta we've be careful done. with that, because if you, if, especially if we're talking about Britain and going back to the chocolate spotted day, you can't go just for the head right away. You'll scare the British away. They're very timid in that manner. Yeah. You mentioned sex, and like, Don't the whole island head, has... Son. I'm <laughs> <sorry>. <laughs> uh, oh no, it's, and that's 100%, uh, for anyone on the internet, that's not... True at all. The British birthed Americans, which means they're just as vulgar as us, and they have better curse words. They didn't birth me. I'm Irish, Scotch Irish, actually. So they did. Technically, yeah. Yeah, yeah they did. Yeah, yeah, the fuck they did. It was just different time. It was a different time. <laughs> it was in a. It was in the history you didn't learn about in Louisiana, but you should have learned about it in college. That's true. Damn it. But I'm gonna say this. I'm coming back to food. Yes. I just want to say this, like, you know, people talk about, oh, uh, New York food, or they'll talk about, like, specific regional. All of the southern food, just, if you go to a southern region, you're going to get good food. If you go to, like, Idaho, don't don't go there for food. Unless right. you really like potatoes. Bro. No, no, not even no, that. No, not, not even that. that. Hey, let, let's, let me throw this out there. Every region of our country with the exception of one. Idaho. I was going to say that great swath near Canada. Yeah. Um, because... Montana, I, too. Sure, yeah. Well, Montana can Dakotas. cook... Okay, they can cook decent bison because that's where bison live. Sure. We'll give them anyway, that. Anyway, but like, okay. if, you, if you mention every single region of this country produces something that's actually really, really enjoyable and good. However, we produce more. Yep. Because here's the thing. You tell me New York. I'm like, okay... I've had a New York bagel from New York, and it's actually pretty good, and I'm going to put 100% of that that's on the water. Like, Well, that's also from the culture, too, because it was largely, like, influenced, like, there's a large Jewish concentration there. I, I get that, but so like that, New York pizza, as much as that's not my favorite pizza, because I can roll it up like a fruit, full, fruit, uh, fruit uh, roll up and eat it, still tastes pretty decent if you get, like, an actual New York pizza. Not like the shit we say is New York pizza down here, which is basically a Tostino's pizza roll that's been spread out. Yeah. Tastes better. I, but I, then you go to Chicago, and I will say this. Some of the best steaks I've ever had in my life were in Chicago, because that's where a lot of the meat still ends up. I absolutely love Chicago deep dish pizza. West Coast. was just the casserole. I was about to yes, say. I, will I, was eat, say I will eat. The, I was gonna say. It and you I said will it eat for the me. pizza casserole. I will eat the. I will eat the four inch deep pie that you call Chicago casserole. Look, it cut, it's casserole it. and a triangle cut out, and I'll eat it. I'll eat it all day long. But like, don't call I love it pizza. It. I love it. I feel it like I'll pizza. define it wrong. Like, okay, it is pizza based on that you are actually eating five pizzas that have been stacked up and they put the sauce on top too. I feel like that's also lasagna. Um... I love lasagna, and I'm not. You, you can say whatever you want. It still beats New York. I'm just saying they don't define it correctly. Like now, at the same time, New York is still better than California style pizza. Yeah. Well, oh, California. Because, because Cal- is California just, does weird shit. California makes good beers. Yeah. Well, here's the thing. California doesn't really have a style. Its style is that it's wacky and wild, but it doesn't have a standard. Now, its style is that it's trying to find the its with all the wizards. And that is it. Oh my god, you're right. <laughs> They've gone full circle. They cook all the way back around. They've got all the pizza with the let's, wizards let's, that let, are let, burning down this up. the forest. But, but let's just break this down for like, why southern food, and one of the reasons we focus on it so much in this podcast, uh, or VOD, or whatever the fuck shit we call this. Um, Brouhaha. Uh, I tell you, hang let's out let's break down where, where, where's the best barbecue going to come from? Down here, Memphis, yeah. Memphis or South Carolina? South Carolina. Texas, no. no, Texas, okay. Texas is a weird offshoot of Memphis. I've, I've got a soapbox to get on, on this one, but I'm not gonna today. Well, let's, I'm just saying, barbecue. No, 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 I'm my, just my saying, favorite like, two, my favorite options. two, my favorite two barbecue options come out of Memphis, which is very much gonna rely on the brown sugar sweet sauce. Mm-hmm. In South Carolina, 
which is a mustard and vinegar sauce, which I didn't expect. However, we lose two points because Alabama makes white barbecue sauce, and I mm-hmm. don't know how that's fucking possible, and it's bullshit. It's good. Yeah, I, I don't care. It looks like you put pepper steak gravy on it. It's good. It's good. But then we go seafood. Oh, now, there's, there's, now here's the deal. Yeah. There's New England. Gotta be in the golf but No, no, here's the deal. There's New England clam bake, and there's Maine lobster, and there's some cod and shit from up north that a lot of people love. Sweet, but, but here's the deal. Pour out, pour out a bunch of crawfish on a table and watch an entire area just be happy. Yep. Mm-hmm. Like, there's... there's, there's and you I've, get, I've like, said it for years that we... The South has a much more obese population because it's harder to go on a diet down here. It's harder to cut out... Food that is supposedly bad for you, uh, not supposedly, that is bad for you, because everything we, we grow up on, everything. everything we eat normally, is that food. Whereas, like, I've I've traveled all over the U.S. I've had meals made for me by people who live in those cities and those states, and it's just not to par when it comes to the <laughs> salt level, the fat level, the butter level, and it's because. The the umami, the stuff that we put in there, because we, our ancestors grew up on eating trash, and so we had to season it to make it good. Drum. Put a bunch of shit out hey, of it. We had to pour so much stuff into it to make it worth eating, okay. and then the people who are further up north didn't have to do that. They had bison, or they had lobster and stuff. It was fridges right there. And so, like, it didn't have to have the extra seasoning. No. It didn't have to have the extra butter. It does sometimes, but it have to. And so it's just harder. It's different. And that's why, like, when, when it comes to flavor profiles on, on a lot of food, and we're all no, really it's critical on that. It's 100% no, 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 no. butter no. down here. You don't, okay. see, you don't see no bartering, really. No, no. Unless There's margarine less... in my house, so I eat less pills. And that's about it. Okay, here's the deal. Margarine exists down here to try to help some people with heart disease. Not very well, but it helps them. But they here's try. the deal. I want you to understand something. It tries. Okay, what type of fish is a drum? What type of fish is a drum? Does anybody know about drum? What is a drum in the Gulf? I have an idea, but you go ahead and say it. No, no. I want to hear what people think this is. Because I learned this thanks to uh, Myra, our mad dog. Chris kind of knows her. I know. Our resident Disney freak in the States. Say say what you're saying. No, I want to hear what other people think a drum is. Mm -hmm. What type of fish? Uh, initially, I think carp, and then you said uh, in the Gulf, and so I like, all right, we're gonna go redfish, red snapper, that kind of thing, because it's carp esque. Okay, first off, what type of fish is a carp or a catfish or a buffalo? Bottom feeders. Yeah, the trash fish, right? Yeah. Drummer or Gulf trash fish. Okay. Go to Port Orleans, Disneyland. Okay. Blackened drum. This shit is tilapia. Okay. Oh. Same. No, no. Here's the deal. Drum and tilapia are the same are the same level of trash fish, charging twenty five dollars for just the fish, and then you still have to get a side of Port Orleans and a drink. So the whole drum meal is over forty dollars, and it's blackened drum. And here's the deal: everybody else, oh my god, this is so exact. This is so, she comes in, bitch. We cut this up to catch real fish. Yeah. Uh, the the key part to that again. Is blackened, which is a seasoning that we do in the South to make things taste better. Dude, it's a uh, Disney blackening, which this is it's, the same place uh, to put no, kale I'm, in the. It's the same place to put kale in the gumbo. The the point I, I understand. We don't, we the, don't acknowledge that existence. But the point that I'm oh, trying to do. say is that when when you say blackened somewhere else, they think you left it on the grill longer, and so it got blacker. When you say blackened down here, it is a seasoning profile. It you're is something coated that, it. Yeah, you're coating it in seasoning, Black and that creates a, a char amongst it. Uh, a uh, oh, what's the what's it called? A bark. It creates a bark around the meat, and like that's what it is to us. It's something else completely. So I mean, like here's the deal. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna say this. The only place I've eaten better than where I'm from is when I went to Puerto Rico. I can see that. And that is legitimately because I had a lady who eventually told us what we ate was horse. It could be good. Um, I'm going to tell you all this. Horse is stringy. I mean, I can see I would not have eaten it if I had been told it was horse because I'm an American. And that's basically like saying you just ate a muscle car. Um, 
like Americans will straight up go cannibal. You made a point. Mustang? What? Oh my gosh. No, here's the deal. I, I fully believe this. Americans would go cannibal before they would eat a dog or a horse. Like, Historically, that's incorrect. No, no, I'm, I'm saying this now because watch if you go and watch the movie like uh, Hidalgo, mm -hmm. the saddest moment is not like Viggo Morrison getting his ass beat. Is a horse has to be shot. And like, there's people like, what the fuck, you don't do that. Or the, like in this new movie, Sisu. But I don't know what Sisu's about other than they continually tell me the dog does not die because American film critics would said we will walk out if the dog dies. So they had to straight up tell the American film critics and whatever the fuck happens in this movie, the dog is okay to get them to sit through the whole movie. That's America. In a, we feel worse for horses and dogs than people in this country. To be honest, horses and dogs are nicer than people in this country. They're better. Yeah. I... I you gave me a horse or a dog, I'll hang out with that animal all day. You horse, just grab a random dog, person off the street, up. might yeah. not. Uh, so, before we uh, we close out, the last thing I will say is always remember that uh, reindeer are better than people. That's true. Uh, there's a whole two movies to sing that song. Um, anyway, it's getting late. It's getting close to ten. Uh, we have sampled our beers. Uh, let's do one round robin. Uh, your favorite beer of the night? Uh, I can't really judge anything. I'm still recovering from the weekend. Why'd you go to his concert? What? Whose concert? The weekend. The weekend. Who's that? The the band. Hey, you're you're talking to the heart. wrong person. Bless oh my heart. God, you boomer! Uh, I'm gonna just don't know any uh, music. I'm gonna be me. That's true. I'm gonna say that my favorite was Commotion. My second favorite is Final Resting. Yeah. I I did my my did earlier. Years a while ago. It's these two. F favorite being Final Resting. Second, uh, Andy Gator. Andy Gator's. Just a good, great all-around beer. Yeah. Now, like when it comes to this selection, y'all made it really hard for me. God fucking damn it, Hewitt! Did you aim that towards him? No, I just farted. Is yeah. it because I said your typing sucks? Because it sucks even worse now. Just be glad it didn't stink. I don't trust you. Chris is over there preemptively. Yeah, what's, your, what's your what's your okay. beer? Okay, so if I'm talking about like beers that you know that I have a connection with, like I don't, I like, and that sounds bad. Like I'm I'm making a sentimental thing with beer. That's not what I'm trying to say. Like this one, I it's the one I picked. It's the one I love. It's like something I don't get a lot, but. I like it, but if I'm if I'm going to go down the list, it's going to be the Andy Gator next, the Commotion, and then the uh, Flying Tiger. Only because the Flying Tiger, like if you pick the blonde that they had, the yeah. Bomber Blonde, that would probably be closer up to here. Yeah, the Bomber Blonde was was more like a blonde. Yeah. yeah. It's, it, man, one, not gonna lie, Man at Arms is their best though. Yeah, when if you, I mean, it's very easy to know what kind of beers I like. I like this one, and I like stuff like uh, Pilsners and like uh, Box and things like yeah. that. So I'm not really as heavy on the the hops as some people. So. And then, and then, I'm personally, um, nothing against wheat beers. I'm just. I've never yeah. found one that I would pick over an oh, IPA definitely. or like, a, a DPA, like a DIPA. Yeah, like the thing is, like I've said in the yeah, past, IPA it's like a. Uh, it's a dipper. Yeah, like the thing is about a Hefeweizen is like you either love them or you're they're just not your thing. I did think the Hefeweizen was very nice. Like I'm it's just light. Yeah, I liked it because crisp. it's yeah. almost it's just it's a step above a cider. Yeah, and it, it has that fruitiness, it has that yeah. uh, lightness, and you can, it, it's a really versatile beer because, you know, you can line the, you can line the salt ring, you can put a lime in there, you can do or an orange, which is more traditional, uh, you can do things like that, and it tastes really good. Actually, now I'm going to be a beer nerd, like putting a, a orange in a beer is to get rid of the skunk. So if you have a skunk beer, just throw an orange in it. You hide it. Yeah. yeah. Not, not a whole orange. 
peel. Just, yeah. just take the whole thing. Yeah. Shake yeah. it yeah. or a slice. Just, just take a slice. Don't you throw a whole bit, orange into the beer. Or do. Do, it's, do what we're you not, want. We're not your dad. <laughs> do what you like. It's like, a free country. Anyway, do what you want. Do what you want. Anyway. You're in America. So, Unless you're that one guy. Who was it in America? Or Canada. So, Thursday, I think we might be doing an online thing if uh, Jed also joins in. Uh, it's maybe. It's a it's a constant maybe. It's it's a uh, Thursday for Tears of Cars. We might do a little bit of wrap up, talking between all the people that participated. Also, kind of looking at what we will do online for a couple of weeks. Yeah. Uh, which I think we're going to move into a monster of the week. That's what I would like to do, uh, and knock that out. And then uh, after that, we're going to be a little definitely for the next two weeks. We'll be a little radio silent. Uh, we'll have kitchen table next Sunday. Uh, we, we might do some Dark Souls, or we might do there, some There's games, probably going to be some video right. games played. Like, I think Knox wants to do uh, Ghost Game Wednesday. Um, so, we got that going on, but with the wedding, and most of uh, TVA actually being involved in the wedding, or a guest at the wedding and showing up. Uh, sorry, Jed. Um, Jed's like, eh, you know, well, it is what it is. So... Uh, uh, so it is what it is. We got that going on. It's going to be exciting. Uh, I, I have additional jobs, is what I've been informed of most recently. So, I, I'm glad that's not me. I don't. I I have anxiety. I don't. Can, Cannon's that. fault. Cannon's fault. Good, anyway, good job, Cannon. Uh, so that's uh, what we got going on. Just keep an eye out. We'll we'll post when we go live. If you can, if you can watch it, that's cool. Anyway, our socials before you start clicking shit to say no, Kyle. Hmm? Socials: We are Team Bonus Action on Facebook, YouTube, and here on uh, Twitch. We are at Bonus Underscore Team. Yes, every, why is everybody? I have not messed that up for a year. I, I'm just. I'm not. I'm not saying anything. I'm, I'm copying him. him. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, that's where we are on the Hellscape. Say my socials now. My socials uh, now. 40756. I'm going to stop exactly. before, I give, before I give out somebody's actual social security number. In any case, um, so that's Larry, where we are you on just Twitch. You to someone. <laughs> so, some random old dude who's very upset now. My socials um, are zero. On uh, Instagram, we're Team Bonus Action. We also have TeamBonusAction.com, created by our own freaking V. Uh, you can go there to find more about us. You can also go there to go to the affiliate links for who we are donating to. Uh, we will be updating the schedule because Tears of Kairos has ended. And uh, so I think that's everything. And since Knox is not here, uh, don't go the whole world on a of beer. Come. Thank you for tuning in to another Bonus Roundtable podcast brought to you by Team Bonus Action. If you'd like to find more out about us, you can go to our website at teambonusaction.com or you can check us out on Facebook, Twitch, and YouTube as Team Bonus Action or on Twitter at bonus underscore team. And since Knox is not here, don't let your meat loaf. <laughs>